What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Bad Co. Sugar Bowl 6th edition. Uh, doing this weekly now for over a month. That's pretty fun. I'm back in the booth and joined by our newest caster recruit, Sweeper. If you want to. Hello. Yeah. yeah yo, say hi. Say hi. Introduce yourself. Hi. Be jovial. I'm Sweeper. I like to run on the beach and I pet the dog and the stream. Woo! Woo! We got stream petters. You guys uh, want to be pet? This is the place to be tonight. No, only dogs. I don't pet humans. Uh, well, usually. Yeah. I'll, I mean, for a price, I'll do anything. But right. Drum just subbed, so, you know. But uh, All right, Drum. <laughs> all right. Streeper's taking subs for pets tonight. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you, by the way. Thank you for the prime. We appreciate it. That 10-month resub. Hell yeah. Dedication, bro. Anyway, we are midst the tournament here in winner's semifinals. We've got a great matchup on uh, on the docket for you. Let's get a look at it real quick. And hopefully that just went to the right screen. It did not. It did not. Sorry about uh, the stream tonight. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to take a little bit of, uh, shall we say, adjusting. Going to go back to BRB real quick. Um yeah, fun uh -oh. is it's not capturing the right monitor. This is actually kind of a Windows thing because it just likes to turn off certain monitors of mine throughout the uh, the course of the night, which is really cool. Really cool. Really appreciate it. Uh, anyway, here's what it actually looks like. We got the boys taking on Yuzzers, two uh, bad co-tournament veterans. What's going on, Forrest? Your message has been highlighted. Uh, yeah, yeah, two bad co veterans. We got uh, Pale Riders team taking on Zernite and the boys, two Blitz veterans, and uh, recently Sugar Bowl veterans. The two seed and the three seed should be good. Already got our matchup information plugged in, ready to go. I see no reason for further delay. We are just waiting on our next matchup right now. Uh, will the players to get in here? As is tradition. Is uh, is Kazu on one of these two teams? I need to check the standings. But I am being asked for the match info, which is... Uh, Readily available on the bracket. It is, in fact. Yep. Uh, however, Kazu is not... On, I don't think uh, either of these teams, so I don't know why he's messaging me. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Everyone can rare Popeye now. You won't do it. Oh, BTTV rare Popeye. Breaking out of our small Twitch neighborhood into the big city. What's going on, Dragon? Good to see you, bud. Message also successfully highlighted. See you guys in Winner's Finals. Happy that we put you as the one seed at, at the end of the day. You guys were the two seed, but then you picked up Wavy. Get in line, Dragon. That's all I gotta say. Yo, screw Iris. He left the Discord today. Not playing in the tournament, just leaves? What is that? Wavy's been in here. Wavy's my boy. All right, looks like we got one team. Yeah, we're still unfortunately waiting on the other one. Not sure what's going on there. I'm going to message him again and just make sure that everyone knows what to do. But uh, until then, just uh, keep treading water. I'm sure <laughs> you're doing a great job over there on the stream. I'm going to keep treading water, and I'm going to keep drinking water. Heck yeah. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Sweepers on board. Hydro homie. I am a hydro homie. I love 
Water. Okay, genuinely though, not as a joke. I the, think water is easily the best drink. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm right there with you. Did you know it's free? Like completely free. You can just drink uh, it whenever uh, you want. Well, technically, no, it's not completely free, but I know what you're saying. It's certainly okay. much All cheaper right. than any right. other drink you could possibly you get. You gotta get out the zoning board agreements. And I mean, there are some, there are places where you can't get water for free, and I'm just saying maybe you should check your privilege. I'm saying my water's free. I don't pay for my okay. water. Well, congratulations. And it's free if you just find it outside, too. Nobody, no water police guarding every natural spring in the country. Mm-hmm. 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 You have a counterpoint to that? No, because I'm Mr. typing to someone. Big and, shot. Uh, the uh, water baron sweeper is charging everybody $5 every every ounce i'm of not water. saying i should charge everyone else money for water <laughs> i just think it'd be great wouldn't wouldn't it be great if water was free for everybody uh-huh uh-huh you're literally that guy from mad max the new <laughs> one even if you Maybe own a home it's pennies i've dumped dozens of gallons into my pool see steve just swims in it you want to talk about this my is privilege why, this is why those those videos of like extreme uh penny pinchers what are they called uh you know what i'm talking about yeah, penny like pinchers. Those TLC uh, cheapskates, right? Wow. They, they like they sh they like use their, their they use their water for everything, and they're like, I saved myself ten dollars this year by not showering. I'm like, great job, dude. Hey, you're the one that was talking about water. I'm again. saying that it. I I just was. I am a technical man. I like things being technically correct. Okay. All right. Just like the match info that I just gave these people, which I assume means that they are joining in a second. This is exactly why you're here, because I I'm just a you know five out of the seat of my pants kind of guy. Mm. Certainly, and I won't let you get away with saying no. that water is free. That's, that's good. That makes for good pants. Even when you're yeah. wrong, which is ninety percent of the I'm time. I'm not okay. <laughs> that feels okay. Statistically speaking, right? It's kind of unlikely that a person could be wrong 90% of the time. Okay, back to That's statistics. That's pretty unlikely. Yes, I like statistics. It's unlikely. They feel firm, and mm, I'm not going to stop right now before I say something I regret. Yeah, yeah I really don't <laughs> want to clip that one. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, we got our teams in here. Let's go. Oh, stick drift pog. I do not drift, but I all appreciate the, the, all go? the vote of confidence. We have eight in the server. Two spectators, which means we're ready to Pretty go. Sure that means we're good, yeah. Yeah. Holy moly, it's getting started. Oh my god, how am I going to cast the name with the period? Please think about these things. <laughs> Alright, anyway, Resident. Oh! <laughs> Almost throwing that one into his own net. Meets with Sarge on the sidewall, look for another touch, finds it, stiff drift in a tough spot. Gets that one out to the corner, pale rider off the back wall, looking for per period. Can can you look up this dude's name on Chalange and tell me what I, his uh, actual name is? Uh, yeah, Zernite puts on a banger. That was a good snipe. I mean, it was open, but uh, just well done not to whiff the open net, as I would do, probably. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's kind of your credo here, right? Although you're a good player, Anthony. You don't give yourself enough credit. Aww. Although it would look I like should Period's say... name is uh, is actually uh, Bluvzy. Oh, that's Bluey. Okay, good, good, good to know. No, I prefer I prefer Bluvzy actually. Bl Bluvzy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I imagine Which Bluey was taken on challenge. challenge. Yeah. Pale Rider unable able to find the clear. Player. Sarge in pursuit gets another touch. That one's into the orange corner. Stick drip. Gets that one off the back wall, carries it over the midfield line, and we got demos galore. Resonal on zero, not going to find another touch. It's there for stick drift. Shot on target, cleared away by Bluey. There for Zernite at the far post. Double commit on defense. They just didn't have enough trust to get this clear out here. Dot or uh, Bluey, I guess. Had a, a touch that might have been good enough if Sarge stayed grounded. Uh, still not the best touch, though, and it just made the whole defense awkward there. Absolutely, Yuzzers facing a bit of an uphill climb here. Down two to the boys. Just over a minute gone to this first one. That's a hell of a clip. As Sarge, good opportunity on the flip reset. Couldn't make it count. Off the back wall from Pale Rider. 
And nothing going for Bluey. Sarge going to try a follow-up. It's soft. The Resinal will get that one into the corner. Pale Rider. Something I'm already, oh. something I'm already noticing from uh, from these two teams is that uh, Yezers have a lot of pressure this game. And uh, they're losing by a, a fair bit. Uh, because for whatever reason, they're doing absolutely nothing with all the pressure that they have. Their touches are just kind of useless. Not finding each other with the ball, then, you you saying? Well, maybe that, or Ooh. maybe they're just not finding the ball. <laughs> what is this whiff coming out from Bluey? He just wasn't ready. Nice little touch there by Stick Drift. Bluey, a bit of a feels flip on that one. Perhaps he thought he, uh, he didn't really have time to get to it and was relying a little too heavily on Sarge to try to get to that backline rotation. But uh, nonetheless, 3-0, the boys. Making it known. There. Sweeper is ruthless for us, says. What do you mean I'm ruthless? Yeah, is that here in the peanut gallery just making fun of... <laughs> making fun of Yuzzers and Water at the same time? This game is not close. These defensive touches are not what they need. Yeah. I mean, that's a tough one, to be fair, for so, Sarge. Yeah, yeah, that's a fine touch from Sarge, but uh, yeah, the follow-up just a little bit too slow from Pale Rider, and the boys crushing it so far. Forrest is mad at me because oh, I'm really Oh, people joined wrong teams, by the way. Oh, did they really? Yeah, they sure did. So wait, Yuzzers is... Uh... Yuzzers is actually the one... Uh... Wait, no. No, what? no, no. No, you know what happened? I typed in the names of the teams wrong. Oh, that is what is confusing me. It was, it's, it's all on Sweeper. Oh, okay. Sweeper's throwing the stream. All right. So, yes, we're good. We're good. But wait, no, the boys oh. are in orange? Yeah, the boys oh. are in blue. The boys are in blue. Which is, because they were the top of the bracket. So I, I assumed that that meant that they were blue. But uh, assumptions, well, you know what they say about them. I don't know if I can say it on a sponsored stream. Uh, no, I don't think you can say ass. Oh, okay. I'm going to well, say ass. What's going on, Gator? Thanks for the follow, bud. Appreciate it. Uh, I think, no, we, we do have the overlay wrong on the stream. Because it currently says the boys are up by four, when they are currently down by four. Yeah, that's very unfortunate, being down by four. But they're only down by three now. Maybe they can start to get some momentum here. I don't really think this game is anywhere in their grasp, but... To be fair, they should be the way that the overlay is set up. People did join the wrong teams, but uh, yeah, that that is the case. On, on Challenge, the top team in the bracket is orange, the bottom team is... Ah, blue. I had it backwards, because yeah. in Rocket League, in the matchmaking thing, uh, when you make the match, it's uh, blue is on top and orange is on bottom. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, I understand my blunder now. Yeah, newbie production mistake. That's okay. That's mm. all right. Mm. This, is, this is the uh, your second time casting in general. And you know what? I think you're doing a great job. Oh, I appreciate it. You know what I think is doing a great job? Yuzzers. Pale, pale Rider? Pale Rider. That was a nice flick. And Dot and Sarge. And Dot. Dot. And a race to get back for Resinal's shot there. Looking for the second touch. Whoa! What a beauty. That's quite the angle right there. Just let this goal free speak for itself. Yeah. Nice first touch. And a tough off angle. And uh, yeah, Yuzzers. Oh, ahead by four goals right now. Against a previous tournament winner. Although Yuzzers, pretty good. Yuzzers did win last week, so not much of a surprise here. The only surprise being the score differential at the moment. I would suspect. Yuzzers, Yuzzers win last week was uh, was pretty uh, dominant, to be honest. So I'm not really surprised to see this because even against these SSL teams like the Pale Riders team, they just never really seem to struggle or be worried uh, or really. They never really seem to be too panicked. Yeah, well put. My Pale Rider's the top 100 ones player. He's, he's got a, a ton of uh, credit to his name. Uh, and you can imagine his teammates come in good company. But uh, it certainly looks like they have not found any kind of an answer here in game one. I have faith. I you have faith? faith? After yeah. that open net miss, you have faith? I have faith. They gotta figure it out, you know, they've been playing a bunch of different... So, okay, Brazil. But, uh... 
they've been playing a bunch of different opponents up until this point. This is their first real test. Maybe their comms weren't really on point. Maybe their uh, rotations have not really been tested to the same degree. But all very skilled players. And uh, I, I have faith. What can I they say? They definitely are very skilled. However, just because you have individual skill on your team does not mean your team is working well together. I may be wrong about this number, but I'm pretty certain that at least three of these goals, maybe four, oh my. have been completely open nets. And that's just not good enough. You can have very good players on your team, but if the players on your team aren't working well together, they don't know who needs to be in net, it doesn't really matter how good your players are. And no. a 7-1 scoreline is not good yeah. for the boys. No, that, that was a, a bit of a struggle first match. Yuzzers taking it. Uh, we're going to have to give everybody the heads up. Oh, wait. No, you have them as orange. I'll switch the overlay instead of that. Oh, so. no, no. I'm switching the names right now. Don't worry about the overlay. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, we will uh, We'll have them join the other teams. This time around. Okay. Yuzzers, game one. Pretty solid game from Yuzzers. Yeah. Uh, bo uh, boys are going to have to... Or no, sorry. Three players with over 500 oh, no, yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a solid first game if I've ever seen it. Yeah. yeah. I keep getting confused because I'm checking the overlay. And uh, I keep... Even though we just talked about it, I still was getting confused which team was which. <laughs> but yeah, Yuzzers... Yuzzers, great game from Yuzzers. That's the that's the one. Okay, I'm confident now in me saying that. <laughs> Man, I mean, <laughs> what do you even do as boys in this situation? You just feel kind of crushed, right? Mm, I think you don't get to this level if you're not willing to shake off some losses. This pale rider getting things started off on the right foot. That is an interesting touch from Zernite there. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I don't think uh, anyone would recommend that. That's what it takes, man. All it takes is one team getting a little overconfident and undervaluing their opponent, and they can get right back in the series. Orc Severius says the boys are back in town. Boys are back in town. Oh, the boys need to... <laughs> I don't know. They'd be back in the city, I guess, or something, mm, because... Mm. The town is not <laughs> it's not doing it right now. Although they are up in this game. I'm just curious if that interesting touch from Zernite is actually a sign of things to come in this series or if that was just a one-off thing and the boys are uh, not necessarily in the as good of a position as it might look like right now. Mm. Hot take coming out from Sweeper. Good shot by Pell Ryder. Cleared back out into the blue corner. Resinal on the breakaway. Unable to get around it. It's there for Bluey. Coming off the wall. A banger downfield. Stick drift in the right place for it. Resonal. Strong shot Ooh, on net. And a great pre we'll save. That was a pre jump from Pale Rider. Great read on the play. Pale Rider around one. It's a good bang downfield. Soft off the back wall. Stick drift unable to put a nose on it. Sarge. Good 50, but right into the hands of Resonal. Into the orange corner. Finds its way back to them. A bit of a team collision. Going to make them sacrifice at least possession for just a second. And now over the midfield line from Pale Rider. Played up high from Resinal. It's on zero down the sideline. Bluey trying to control it. It's around one. It's got a fair amount of boost. Trying to carry that the whole way, but couldn't quite get the elevation on it. Resinal oh. off the back wall. He's been hitting those at a clip tonight. Nice shot from Resinal. He just saw the space, never doubted for a second. Knew exactly what he needed to do, and Pale Rider has almost no shot of saving that, unless it's placed literally right at his car. Yeah, it's uh, you can get right away with one beautiful pre-jump save in a match, but two is asking <laughs> a lot. Much closer game so far. Just uh, n not just in terms of scoreline, but also in terms of pressure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could tell everyone just feels confident or at least a lot more confident in themselves to just do what they want with the ball. Stick drift. Trying to find Zernite in the corner. 
Couldn't find the midfield pass out of it. Gets another touch, though, and it's right into the hands of Bluey. Oh. oh it's happened again. Was this Zernite? Zernite, what are you doing, man? Why would you keep boosting towards this? That touch, although I assume he expected Resinal was going to be back post there, in which case he could have made a touch. Still, just probably not the wisest play. Maybe a bit of overconfidence? Perhaps. Uh, but, you know, decision-making when it gets... To be this tense is uh, is a bit difficult, you know? It's the, the options aren't as clear to us sitting here from our privileged position. Off the ceiling from Resinol. <laughs> would have been a, a double tap to end all double taps, even for Resinol tonight. The and open that whiff afterwards, though. Trying to play the 50, gets it around two. A bit of an awkward touch there is going to give Zernite... Ooh, Resinol! Oh, he did it again! <laughs> This one was much harder than the previous one. That last time, I mean, he had so much space to see what he was doing. This one, he had to turn so fast for it. This is a much tougher angle, even though it's basically the exact same spot on the backboard. Very impressive from Resinol. <laughs> I recognize that so well. That is his shot tonight, man. I, I just practiced this for like two hours in free play before he got to the, the tournament. But he is, he is consistent. Boys had better be careful about that. <laughs> back left corner Ooh. on the backboard because apparently Resinol has uh, trained himself. Yeah, they're going to have to, to mix exactly up their rotations. Just leave somebody <laughs> on that post for the rest of the night. Zernite. Let's see if he could do it again. Oh. Hill Rider, soft little touch, able to get the 50 out of it. Sarge trying to take his time. He's got Resinol to contend with. He's just he giving so much space there. Yeah, a, a bit too much of it as, uh, well, a bit too much for Sarge, I should say, as they manage to clear out of it. Pale Rider, back into the corner. It's Resinol back out in front, able to get back to the shot. Good pass into the mid, Zernite, not ready for it. On 27, gets beat there by Sarge. Well played by Resinol. That was such an awkward position. We saw this last week as well. Resinol is super consistent. Just, I mean, one of the best players in here, which is, Ooh, oh, is that an open a good net? good look at an open net, yeah. Stick Drift will put the finishing touches on, but the breakaway, yet again, the Achilles heel of the boys this series. That's got to be at least five open nets this series. I mean, it's a bit lopsided because of the Brazil, but that's just not good enough, man. It's one of the most basic things you have to cover. Someone's got to be in net when there's a shot coming on. Well, certainly the demo didn't help. This Pale Rider unable to complete the double touch. Stick Drift in the mid. Zernite unable to make the read. Now passes back to Resinol. Another open net. Oh, no. You can see Pale Rider leaving the third man position here. Oh, no, it was Sarge. Sarge turned off to the left when he should have been challenging. Ah, uh, just... Not quite sure where to be there. Really tough. Just some wires crossed. Obviously came out, played a lot better so far this game. Uh, 40 seconds left to it. It's a steep hill to climb. But still enough time. Out in front from Bluey. Good shot on Ooh. net. Resinol better save. Sarge off the close post. The rider unable to find the back of the net. Louis in a rush. The Zernite will carry it downfield the rest of the way. Now off the sidewall. Looking for the double. Can't be there, but stick drift right in the box. And the Yuzzers have broken this one wide open. Not quite as close as the first half of this game would have seemed. The boys' only two goals were gifted to them, basically, by Zernite just passing the ball right to him. Other than that, Man, Yuzzers have, have just absolutely controlled this game with uh, that one demo play and two two double touches for Resinol. I mean, it's just it's just been a very clear separation between these two teams in terms of their synergy and I think also uh, their mechanical ability. For sure. And that will do it for the winners' semis series. Yuzzers advancing on to grand finals to take on God. I can only remember half of their team name so I'll uh, I'll let you know I'll let you know when I know but let's take a look uh, not grand finals by the way winners finals winners finals yes my apologies slip of the tongue there winners finals
between Yuzzers and I can't believe he did this. That is that is the full full team name. We don't know who did what, but somebody did something. S somebody's and doing they can't something. Believe it. Yeah. Put the bracket on screen there while I throw in our info for our next series. That will be I can't believe he did this in orange and Yuzzers in blue. The match is up. The stage is set. We wait for our players to get in. Oh my god. This this team name is way too long for the overlay. Gotta find some uh some. Oh yeah, I just did I can't believe. That's it. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do the same thing. You know what? Same thing. Solidarity I between the casters. I can't believe. I can't believe they would make their team name this long. Maybe that's what he did. <laughs> and thereby, I can't believe in this team. There you go. I said it. Wow. Yeah. You can't believe in this team? Nope. Belief dead. All right. Well, uh, I guess in order to make some interesting caster dynamics, I'll say that I, I wholeheartedly believe in Ooh. this team, and I think they're going to win the entire tournament, and it's going to be super easy for them. Okay, well, we do know Wavy and Forrest are on this team, both very accomplished Badco veterans. Uh, and they've uh, they won a rematch so far, obviously. They did have one game taken off of them in the uh, winner's quarterfinals. Which, uh, hard to say how indicative of uh, anything that is this early on in the I, tournament. If I know Forrest, which I know him a little bit, um, Forrest has a tendency of sort of not taking games quite as seriously as maybe he should, uh, especially when he thinks he should be winning them. Uh, so it doesn't hmm. really necessarily surprise or worry me for his team that no. they let a game take, get taken off of him, given how many times uh, I've... Uh, is Forrest in the chat right now? He's going to be so mad at me if I want to say this. Given how many times I've beaten him in Sweater Six Mans. Because uh, he's not taking it seriously. Yeah. Bit of faffing uh, about. Some clowning. Mm-hmm. Wait, what did you just say? Clowning. No, no, no. Before that. Faffing about. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought you said something else. No, no faffing. Oh, 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 oh. He just came right out and said it. I shouldn't have challenged you on that one. Oh, Forrest hates Sweeper now. It's official. You said it in Twitch chat. Forrest didn't hate me before? Oh my gosh, I can't <laughs> believe this. <laughs> this is actually good news for Sweeper. Yeah. <laughs> um, Forrest, you know what I hate? When people don't get in their matches on time. That makes me angry. Now, I just said I believe in your team, but don't make me take it back. Look, Yazers is here, Forrest. What's happening? This is set in Japan. That's unbelievable. How is it set to Japan? Psionics? Why would I send this to Asia? Why is it Asia? Everyone get out of that lobby. <laughs> what? I actually, okay. The closest thing I've ever watched in anime is probably like Avatar. So there you go. Mm, yeah, so Sweeper confirmed weeb is what sad. we're saying. Yeah, yeah. You know, am, I, am I protesting too much? Mm, yeah, yeah. Too suspicious? Me thinks, yeah. Mm, I actually can't believe that. I don't know. Psionics, I guess, just hates me because they they want me to get fired from Bad Co. <laughs> what a five. What a five games. We got a USC server. Everything's going great. It's just a ignore, great day. Ignore everything up until this point. Hey, Forrest, here's a heads up. You can see all of the match info available to you on the bracket. You don't need to ask anybody. Just click that beautiful little magnifying glass on the series, and you, as the team captain, can see the match info. That way, nobody has to PM it to you, and nobody has to coordinate with anybody who's not talking to them. It's too bad you can't see me right now, Forrest, because I just, I'm doing the bad co, uh, the bad co, what? I'm doing the surprise Pikachu face right now. Because I just can't believe you can see your match info on the tournament site. Yeah, no kidding. It's a revolutionary new technology. That is. How did they even do that? I I don't think uh, I, I, that, that 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 doesn't even sound possible to me. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Certainly very new. 
All this uh, and more at challenge.com. Great new features being added every day. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think that 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 feature was added shh, recently, shh, but shh, 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 shh. it's fine. It's fine. Just let them believe. I I don't let people believe things. I have to I have to destroy the belief. Of you literally everything. just said you believed in this team. I after I said my own I belief now. Believe. I don't believe in them anymore. The Listen again, this hypocrisy on display is really making me lose faith in you as a coach. Aren't we all hypocrites? Whoa, hypocrites and hypocrites. Is that when you got stoned? <laughs> And you, do you literally contradict yourself every other sentence? I guess I am stoned right now. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I will not believe in Forest Team unless they get in here in the next 10 seconds. That's what I'll say. Because, man, if, I can't even, if they can't even find their way into a match, how in the world are they going to play well actually you know, in the match? Right. I mean, getting into the match is like the easiest yeah. part. <laughs> then you have to like figure out what to do with your hands after you get into the match. And that's what I think is the difficult part of Rocket League. So many people yeah. might agree uh, or disagree, but, you know, we're, we're talking about people who have classically um, classically participated in a lot of tournaments here, and uh, apparently this is a difficult stage. I, I yeah. don't know it personally because I'm already in the lobby, but that, that could just be my privilege again. It is, okay, in, in Forest's defense, it is kind of difficult because you have to open up the website and then you have to click on, uh, I think it's one button. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then and then it shows it. So You do have to be more than a yeah. little bit invested in knowing what's going on in the tournament. You're right. Yeah, You're right. it's unfortunate. That's it's the difficult part, yeah. Man. He's taking as much time to get into this match as he took to write his team name out because of how long it is. <laughs> I, I really don't understand. This coming from our resident uh, novella author. <laughs> yeah, but I do that in the, there's an appropriate time. Sick. <laughs> there's an appropriate time for that. Right. Okay. It's not your team name. Like not when you're holding up the rest of the tournament by not joining? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Forrest oh, yeah. has a history of uh, these long names. And, uh, well, does he have a history of taking a long time joining matches? I don't think so. Not necessarily. Mm. What's up, Forrest? Nope, nope. I, I'm about to. I'll tell you what. I'm about to to just message him the the info because apparently he's incapable of finding it on the website. I had a very uh, nice and simple visual aid that I posted in chat earlier. Mm. It and seems like most people page. are on the same page about this. That's all I'm saying. I mean, this is uh, one of the first, not the first in Forest Defense, but this is one of the first issues we've The had info with. on the website isn't working. Did you make the lobby info wrong? Is that what's no, going on? Is no, this an it's Anthony definitely problem? correct because the other, the, the other team got in here. Mm. So I don't know mm. what to tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're all right um, about that. That's what they're saying in the, the thread. Not quite sure what's going on there. Well, I just let Forrest know that uh, the, the the info because apparently, um, he's telling me that's not what it says on the website. Uh, did you use the wrong station info? That might have happened. It might be back to station one since it's the only one on stream right now. No, no, we no, 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 no. There was an error. I don't know how the other team even figured it out. <laughs> okay, so but this is an Anthony thing. An we just spent like five minutes roasting Forest, and this is your fault. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's just move on. Um, <laughs> let's just move on, and we're just going to move on. All right, Woo! game on. Woo, game so on. We're in the game. We're in the game. We're Best in the game. of five here in Winner's Finals. I hope it's you're time. all ready. I think Sick Drift Pog probably fell asleep. Okay, he's there. He's there. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Everyone's good. Oh, and, ready to uh, go. And here we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Off kickoff. Forrest going to win that one. Dragon. Soft off the back wall. It is Zernite into the blue corner. Resinal back to Zernite. Forrest in a tough spot. Resinal no touch there. And Dragon try to take this downfield now. Look for a double. Finds it. Beautiful shot on net from Dragon. Oh. 
This is insane. I mean, sure, you could say, well, he had all the space in the world, but he also had a defender jumping at him, so, you know, it's so easy to get psyched out when yeah. you think they might be getting a touch. And that angle is just crazy. I threw, him, uh, threw, threw in some twisty boys there, too. Excuse me as I turn up my audio. 35%. Not great. Also, video, I can just see, got reset to 30 FPS. They said they fixed that, but uh, definitely not fixed for me. Hmm. Nonetheless, game audio should be nice and audible now. Resonal out of the blue corner. Wavy, unable to get a touch there. Forest there to try to keep the ball alive. It's Zernite. 50 with Dragon. And now Forrest will try to take this off the back wall. Boost is missing. And now back. I don't know Forrest how that got... we got in a little fight there in midfield. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, a little bit of a That's tussle. That's not going to be a problem for them. <laughs> a kerfluffle, as we call them. Zernite. No pinch there. Looking for the mid-pass. It's Forrest. Able to correct himself. Unable to get it around Resinal. Stick drift. Off the side wall. Gonna just let that one drop. It's Forrest. And the pressure on from Yuzzers. Have not quite given it up until Wavy. Now able to get it over the midfield line. Sir Knight. 50 finds its way back to Resinal. It's around Wavy. Resinal again. Trying to make it awkward for Forrest. Dragon back in the corner. Sir Knight down into the box. Dragon, no oh. touch. That one's off the inner post and Forrest, or Wavy rather. Sorry. Able to make a very difficult save. Dragon out. It's a little, a little too close for comfort. And now <laughs> down the other way, they make it work. Doesn't matter if it's too close for comfort as long as it doesn't go in your net and it does go on the other one. So. Yeah. Beautiful dribble there by Dragon and great read by Forrest. So no one, he was completely out. I don't know that. Or the comms are flowing. And I gotta say, after a while, it's good to see uh, Forrest back in action here in one of these tournaments. You know, I've spent basically the last two years paying him to play Rocket League. And I'm kind of looking forward to doing it again tonight. I'm, I'm rooting for them, even if I can't believe in them. Uh, I forgot that I can't believe in them anymore either. Uh, although, if it was my fault because of the password, Ooh. do I still get to believe in them? Uh, They're a pre -O. I believe in them. I don't know. I don't you did just you spend say. a lot of time. You know, I'm going to let that... Up let them decide that whole thing. Whether or not they feel like they even want your belief as of this point. That shot from Dragon was so well placed that whether they want me to believe in them or not, I don't <laughs> care. I believe in them. Go for RL. Thanks for the follow, bud. Appreciate that. Dragon is, is really uh, bringing his own style here to this team. I had never seen, seen them play before. I've only seen Forrest and Wavian. I know they're both very, very good. So I was very curious to see how Dragon plays. And... <laughs> Boy, oh boy, <laughs> have they made a statement coming out of this field. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, they are 3 0 a team that just 7 1 another SSL team in this bracket. Dragon off the back pass from Forrest. Zernite off the back wall. Wait Dragon has space. played uh, in Blitz before. Pre jump from Forrest. <laughs> That was Double? almost gorgeous. Oh, good save from Resonal. Oh, I'm a little mad that Resonal saved that one, to be to be fair. That would have been disgusting. Yeah. But yeah, they, they have played in Blitz together. Forest and Dragon, at the very least, had a different teammate for that one. Not uh, not Wavy. And they did not win that Blitz, actually, against uh, some of the other players that we have in the Sugar Bowl right now. Lots and lots so, of rivalries, little mini rivalries going yeah. on. Everyone's switching teams all the time. But still, you know, anyone that you've lost to before, you'd like to probably come up and beat. Yeah, improve yourself. Resinal. That one stop dead at the midfield line. Wavy, it's around one. Resinal. Got to it quick. On zero, Forrest with some room to operate. Gets it around one. The flick off the crossbar. Oh. Wavy, there for the follow, and Forrest going to spam great pass. I knew it. Knew it was coming. I mean, you knew this was going to be a goal from the second Forrest started dribbling that that ball. There was just so much control that even when he flicks the crossbar, there's, there's really not a whole lot Yuzzers can do. So, Man is back. It's an awkward situation. He's making a, a comeback tour here tonight. Forrest 
uh, on the ball control is something to behold. It's probably his strongest quality as far as I've observed him. Yep. Uh, For as much as we've gotten to know Forrest over the years, one of the, the highlights is he's still one of the best decision makers on ball I've ever seen in our community. And uh, yeah, he, he is a very, very conscientious possession holder. When he's playing without throwing. Somehow he gets away with doing those kinds of things. Yep. And uh, 5 0 other SSL teams. So I yeah. guess it ain't bragging if you can back it up, right? It has been quite the uh, quite the whiplash here in terms of swings and games. I mean, we had the 1 7 1, and then a 5 2, and then a 5 0 oh so far in this matchup. Yeah, no close game so far. I'm looking forward to when all these teams get a little bit more settled in, maybe. And we're yeah. talking about teams that, I mean, beat good teams on their way to get here. Like, that, it is bizarre to me that even within this skill bracket, there's still this much of a differentiation. Really, it could just be down to certain matchups being... Uh you know, play styles matching up in certain ways to where some teams just don't fare well against other teams even when they are also very, very good. Yuzzers is very, very good as we just saw in the last series, but so is I Can't Believe, apparently. Yeah, no kidding. Dragon with 700 points that game, three goals to his name, Forrest, not too shabby himself, two goals, and uh, Yuzzers, well, they gotta find an answer here. Man. <laughs> Do they ever? Uh, they had three shots versus nine shots. I don't know if uh, y y you know uh, you've done math, but that's, uh, that's three times more. Yeah. A uh, little bit of quick maths for you. I'm a, kind of a genius. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Broke out the TI-83 for that one. But uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, it, I just my phone actually. Very clear. <laughs> that is yeah, graphing calculators nowadays. Uh, but yeah, that is that is definitely indicative of a major problem for Yuzzers heading into game two. Uh, they need to find their possession and take care of the ball. And they were doing such a good job of that last series. I mean, you know, the, the reason that they had so many breakaway long goals was just because they were they were on the rotations a lot a lot more than uh, than the boys. But uh, not the case here in game number one. Let's see if game number two tells us diff uh, tells a different story. Very, very excited to see how this goes, uh, or, or specifically how Yuzzers uh, react to that previous game, because I don't expect this to be the exact same, uh, but I'm not totally sure what they need to change, uh, and I wonder if they do. You know, I'd be very interested to see what they change and if it works. Resinal getting blocked off of that clear stick drift in a tough spot, and Forrest already after six seconds in the game number two. Or they won't have time to change anything because they'll have kickoff and then 150 and then suddenly it's a goal. Yeah, Forrest made that read real quick. And Resinal, unable to find the clear dragon was a was beautiful on that pre-jump. Gotta say, he made that read he made that play possible. But all the same. Uh yeah, good good stuff from I can't believe I am starting to. Very good stuff. They've they're they're making Yuzzers look pretty silly, although there's a good shot and a good demo. Yup, Sir Knight firing back. Forrest Ooh. taking a little bit too long to do something with it there, and Resinal on the challenge. Gonna open up the opportunity for Sir Knight, not to mention that back post demo. It's definitely gonna help the case. Funny, because just before that goal, I was, I was looking at Yuzzers, and they were kind of all over it, each other, and their touches just weren't really doing anything, and I was thinking, surely this is going to lead to another goal for I can't believe, because look how awkward Yuzzers are. But I think their awkwardness actually just <laughs> made... Oh, there's another one! Oh, Ooh. the open net! No! Definitely coming out with a lot more physical play here early on. They've been seeking those bumps. That might be their answer. Zernite, a hair off of that one. It's wavy. Gets a strong flick. It's off the crossbar. And back to Forrest, chip around one, stick drift, gonna get that back out relatively midfield, it's on target, slow, but there for the finish is Forrest. 
not the kind of goal you want to give up in this sort of game where you finally found your way into it, you're competitive, and then I'm not actually sure who it was. I think it might have been Stiff Dr Stick Drift. Uh, just kind of left net because he had he had a little too much faith in his teammates. There. Yeah, I was just gonna say they they both looked like they were expecting Resinol to get that clear with uh with zero trepidation, and instead they wind up going exactly the wrong place right on net. Is that it's just gonna find Wavy? Beautiful save by Zernite on the goal line. Off the ceiling from Forrest, stick drift, trying to keep this going downfield, it's wavy. Back the other way, Resinol into the mid, into the hands of Forrest, that's not what you want to see. Out of the pocket comes Zernite on the dribble, looking for Resinol. Shot on net, oh. barely under the crossbar, but wavy, there to keep it away. Forrest, just going to keep flipping. Playing that 50 game, it's Resinol. The sidewall looking for the musty. Sir Knight into the mid, stick drift. Just a little bit too late to it. Dragon. Good, at good attempts on these passes though. You can tell that they're they're trying to put something together. They're trying to find something. I think they might need to go back to that demo style. They might have gotten scared out of going in front of the ball from that last open net that they left. But clearly. They can't seem to get much going without interfering with the defense in some off the ball. Well, it seems like they're capacity. starting to find a better balance here, and the uh, you know the the eyeball test looks like they've had a bit more possession so far this game. I say that without looking too deeply into the stats, but they've definitely had more control, and they've definitely found each other a lot easier. Perhaps they are still trying to find a balance between playing that hyper aggressive style they started with and uh, trying to play a little bit more defensively, hedge their bets on some touches. It's Forrest, oh man, Whoa. nearly completed the beautiful double touch, almost got the flip reset off of it. But just barely off, he's had two near beautiful shots. Jetsers have been outshot this game, as you were mentioning, but it's not been by nearly as much this time. They yeah. still are struggling to find their confidence in their possession, but they are Ooh. doing a much better job this game, but they've only got a minute and a half to actually make it count for something. Sir Knight, off the close post, not the Ooh. most ideal clear for us, able to get back to it. And now we'll put that one into relative safety. Sir Knight on the dunk. That one's lofted up into the mid. It's soft on net and wavy. Gonna be able to get back to that. Back into the box. The pressure has definitely ramped up. But now they have to retreat. Forrest on 84. Stick Drift, back to it. Forrest looking for an awkward challenge. Going to take Stick Drift off the ball, though. And now into the mid comes Zernite. No one there to shoot. Resinol in a race to get back. Oh. And makes the strong defensive play off the close post. Resinol Clear. looking for Zernite. Good shot on net. Wavy will get into the corner. Ball's been right in front of that orange net so many times this game, and so often it looks like just one little touch puts it just out of reach of whoever's going for the shot. It just seems like, oh, no, no, in. Yep. that's not in. Clear wide. <laughs> Unfortunate. It just seems like Yezers aren't Oof. quite sure when the exact right time is to go for a shot, or they're not quite able to get the perfect execution on it, but they're really close. They've got to make a count now, though. Yep, 13 seconds left of this one. It's this possession or nothing, basically. Oh. And Forrest sneaks it past one. Sir Knight into the corner. Resident will play that one down. No one is going to be able to get back to that one. And I can't believe they take game two of three of the series. Time running out for Yezers. Two very strong showings from I can't believe, but it has to be noted Yuzzers looked way, way better this game, especially towards the end of that game. I really thought a couple times there that they were going to equalize. Just couldn't quite get a, over those last couple inches. Uh, I mean, game three, theoretically, it should go to I can't believe because they've clearly been better so far, but I wouldn't bet on it, even though I said I do believe in them. Uh... Yuzzers have been improving consistently throughout this series. Yeah, I took the words out of my mouth, basically. Still only six shots on net, but they definitely made them count a lot more. Go for RL. Thanks for the sub, man. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate that. Uh, two guys out here. 
making Badco possible. Aww. It warms my cold, bitter heart. Oop, that's not a best of seven. It is game three of five. Guzzer's last opportunity here. Trying to head on into grand finals. Getting things started off with a strong pinch in the blue corner. On zero is Resinal. Stick drift off the ceiling. Resinal looking for Xernite. And uh, yeah, what what could have been a good counterattack there? They were a little too slow finding each Ooh, other downfield. Resinal. Resinal just recovered excellently off of Bump and managed to actually even put a shot off of it. He was the last man back as well, so if he hadn't had such an insane recovery there, it 100% would have been a goal for I can't believe. Yep. And such is the nature of Rocket League, the fickle nature, I should say. They say it's a, it's a game of inches. And uh, one wrong mistake can be the difference maker. Zernite. Or centimeters, if you count like a sane human. Uh, okay, Mr. I, I love the metric system. I won't. I'm not ashamed of it. Oh, Wavy? I, I think nah. it's it's smarter. Don't get me wrong. But that's not where I live. That's not what I grew up with. I know inches. Uh-huh. I'm not going to suddenly switch oh. to using centimeters in America because that would just make my life difficult and everybody else think I'm a jackass. Nah. Uh. But it would make it would make the next generation's lives so much easier, wouldn't it? You know, if we made it like a law or something, <laughs> a Zernite able to get the denial on the goal line. Down the sideline comes stick drift as Wavy sends it right back in their face. Zernite barely able to get that one to safety. Ooh. We will continue this conversation. Yeah, you were saying about the your beloved metric system? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll conclude that conversation later. Okay. Right now we have a thrilling game three where Yuzzers are barely hanging on by a thread. And boy, are they pushing hard to keep going in this series. <laughs> Resinal especially. Did you just start just... meme casting to try to avoid talking about the metric system? What? <laughs> no! I think Listen. Just, we're okay, okay, it. okay. Here's, all, here's the Great only pass. Thing. Okay, never mind, never mind. Talk about the game. Jeez, Anthony, shut up about the metric system already. <laughs> Good Awkward. 50 from yeah. Wavy. Awkward 50 from Resinal. Depends on which side of the corn you are on that one. But either way, right into the hands of Forrest. And you cannot give him that look. 20 seconds to halfway through this one. Got I can't believe out in front by one. A position they are more than comfortable with. It's so hard to give up that first goal in a position like this. After you fought back so hard last game, you couldn't quite get back into the game. You were fighting so hard this game. Resinal! <laughs> Still can't quite Again, get it in! Again, dude, they are cursed! That was happening all last game, and they have not found any relief here. Just the... the breakneck... saves on the goal line. Constantly. They're just... they're not able to... Because usually... And you'll notice, uh... I believe... I can't believe... did this uh, the, in the previous game. If you outlet. can force a really hard save out of the other team, it usually means that you have a follow-up chance afterwards. And Yezers haven't been able to follow up on a single one of their really good shots because they just Ooh. can't quite read the defense or each other, That apparently. was the most calculated team bump I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. They just put them all back in position for it. Resinal on eight, not going to get a follow there. It's dragging back into the corner. On zero, trying to play that 50, but Stick Drift will get it around him. Forrest, going to take his time, gather that corner boost. Couldn't quite find the dribble out of it. Stick Drift. Awkward 50. Dragon will place that one high. Hey, wavy. Unable to get a touch on it. Xernite trying to bring that one back the other way. Good defense from Forrest. Seems like Xernite couldn't decide between shooting it on net and passing the stick drift there. And he just kind of picked the middle lane, which didn't really do anything for his team. It's yep. a tough one, though. Those are the decisions we make. Is Resinal still unable to sneak that one in a close post? Wavy's defense has been immaculate this game. And oh! speak of the devil, they're for it. I think that's- They just can't get it in. That uh, just clips his first savior medal, yeah. Four so saves this game so now times. for Wavy. Showing it's not all about offense. Off the ceiling oh, now. Helps. Zernite gets team bumped on 79. He had a clear dribble there. Resinal 
Looking for the double. It's lofted up in mid stick drift. Gonna look for the double of his own as Forrest. Off the back wall, gonna bring that one downfield. Sir Knight now. What a fake! Another one. This is what I'm saying when I say Forrest is still one of the best on ball decision makers. Knew Sir Knight was gonna be up, had to be up, and just toyed with him. 25 seconds left to this one. I can't believe out and ahead by two in a pretty good spot. Can you believe now? I can. They have made believers out of me. All right. Believers? Multiple? Yes. Me, wow. myself, and I. Ah. Yeah. Wow. That's some powerful belief. What can I say? You get the... What? What? Well, I'm going to pose this question to you because this potion was questioned to me. Or this, this potion? This potion was what? questioned. <laughs> I think I just had a stroke. I can't believe, gonna take the series in three, the clean 3-0 sweep. Yuzzers, we'll see you again in the loser's bracket, boys. Look, GG's to both. Forrest being toxic? Unbelievable. Ooh. I can't, I can't believe Forrest being, being toxic. He's being positively toxic, though. Like, it's, mm. it's a weird position to be in, whereas he's, he's being toxic about the other team not GGing. I don't know how I feel about this. Mm. Okay. That game, so unfortunate. Question. So many close ones. Question was posed to me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what happens if you break a stick? You get two sticks. Yep, stick wins every time. Yeah, I know, I know. We've all seen this meme on our grandma's Facebook wall, Ryan. It's, stick wins right. every time. Just going to say, all right. you might have all seen right, it there, all right, all right. but it only applies to me. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this here. Yeah. Anyway. You know what my my dad always told me? If you're arguing with someone who has absolutely no sense of logic, you can never possibly win. So I'm just going to leave it here. Yeah, never argue with stupid people because they'll bring you down to their level and beat you with experience, right? Yes, that's exactly what I was saying. There you go. All right, well, this time I'm going to correctly assign the password. <laughs> Because Whoa. I know what I'm doing as an admin of this tournament. That is a market improvement for us here at Badco. As the boys, they got taken out by Spooky SS SZN in the loser's bracket. That is crazy. The two seed getting taken out. Spooky SZN, they come back. They're going to have a much different seeding this time around. Relatively unknown to the community. But uh, definitely... Making some waves here in their first appearance in Sugar Bowl. Who's on that team? Do you know? I can find out for you in just a second. Dragon says, hey. Hey, Dragon. Nice Hi, game, Dragon. bud. Nice three goals in that first game. You're nuts. That's all I'm acknowledging. <laughs> yes, he, cl he clearly didn't... It contributed anything after that. <laughs> Spooky SZN. They are TK, Sully RL, Jacob Deluxe, and Capsize. Yeah, never heard of any of them. Like I said, relative unknowns to the community, but certainly coming out here and uh, staying alive, getting eliminated in round three by I can't believe they did this. And uh, yeah, ever since then, they have been on a tear. You'll have to see it, though. You do indeed. All right. Got everything squared away for our losers finals matchup. Yuzzers, Spooky, SZN. We are heading right into that one. I would like to issue a, f a formal apology to Forrest for roasting him for like 10 minutes straight earlier on the stream. When I can now confirm I was 100% incorrect about the password. I don't know how the other team got in. Genuinely don't know how they figured it out. I, but. on the other hand, will apologize for nothing because I trusted in Anthony and he betrayed that trust by uh, pl placing the blame all on you. I think that it was kind of your fault for trusting me, Ooh. if you think about it. Ooh. Who is I, the fool? Wait, how does it go? Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? You, my friend, I may have been the fool, but you were the fool who followed the fool. That's and true. And so, therefore... Yeah. You could be considered even more foolish. Yep. Chain oh, of command. Force accepts my apology. Don't tr don't trust him. 
How, How could, could you, you trust, trust someone <laughs> using the metric? The metric system is objectively better. It is objectively better. You oh cannot possibly argue. God. You can argue, okay, it's maybe you can maybe argue it's not worth the trouble of switching the entire United States over to it, which I still mm-hmm. think it is, mm-hmm. but you mm-hmm. cannot argue that the metric system is mm-hmm. worse. The metric system is objectively better. It mm-hmm. makes more sense. And only an idiot would ever argue anything differently. Thank you for coming to my Anthony talk. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Just like missed opportunity calling, not calling it a Tony talk, but you know, ah, people used to call me Tony. I hated it. (laughs) Just got to say, you know, it's a Ted talk, Tony talk. It makes more sense. If you're branding yourself, you know, that's, that's the way to go. Mm. Objectively, how are your conversions (laughs) going? If you don't mind doing more work, then by all means, there you go. Steve's your idiot. If you want to argue with Steve, there you go. Steve! I'm not talking about working between the two systems. I'm talking about strictly if we were all just using the metric system. It would be better in every possible way. If everyone was using the same standardized system of working in tens, which makes way, way, way more sense. All I'm saying is, if I was running for president, one of my main platforms would be switching the United States over to metric for our children and our children's children. And that's why you should vote for me in the upcoming election. How do you feel about the penny existing? Do you think we should get rid of the penny? I think we should make the the cent a penny, which is worth one one one-hundredth of a penny. Wow. (laughs) Even a greater waste of resources. Cap size. (laughs) Trying to find the double off the musty, it's Xernite. Deluxe will get in the way of that. Strict Drift, around one, Deluxe trying to cut off the play. Resinal. No touch from Capsize, but enough room there for Deluxe. Looks to get it over one, it's a good shot on net. Resinal right there for it. Hard off the ceiling. Capsize, off the close post, couldn't find another touch. And now Resinal. And a race to it, capsize off of the 50, and Zernite, no touch there, gonna leave it there for Deluxe. It's a nice far, far field shot. Zernite wasn't quite sure how this was bouncing, he thought it might be coming down off the crossbar, I think. And that was, just ended up being the right read. Really tough spot though. Yuzzers, it's time to see if they can bounce back from a pretty tough stomping of a loss that they had in that previous series. And right now it's not looking good for them. Yeah, that 3-0 is definitely going to leave some doubt in your mind about your, your viability later on in this tournament, especially a team that has now gone through the entirety of the loser's bracket. Without, uh, you know, that is the loser's gamut, as we call it. All best of ones. You have to be on your game every game as Zernite coming right back into it, tying things back up. Making up for his previous misread off the crossbar, he reads the other crossbar, and this time correctly. And also dunks it over TK. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We are tied up. Just a minute gone from our first minute. We are a minute and Ooh. one second gone. What's going on, Watchy boy? Good to see you, bud. How is that name pronounced? Oh, a goal happened. That, that, it's TK. TK is how you pronounce that. Mm. No, 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 not TK. Watchy boy. Good counter, though. I mean, I think so. So, phonetically makes sense. I didn't see Watch. any reason to question it. I, I'm thinking wet, wet, weighty boy for some reason. It's just what what comes into my mind when I read that name. What is this hacky sack hot wheels? Yeah, about kind of like that. What's going on, Jess? Cap size. Gonna be Zernide there. Deluxe, not ready for the pass. It's Resinal, long downfield. TK gonna try to get that one to safety and stick drift oh. just off on the shot. Good opportunity. I think it was actually meant to be a pass, but Resonal wasn't quite far enough to the left, or mm-hmm. maybe Stick Drift hit it a little bit too far to the left. Some, something wasn't quite clicking there. But they're on offense still, and they have a good opportunity here if Zernai can get it. Nah, no, not quite. Still a good Whoa. shot, though. Talk about good shots. Resonal. Bar down ski. Good luck saving that one. Now, TK, I think he was trying to find a little bit farther into the corner, get that down the sideline instead. Right back out. That 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 one corner. 
It's been the bane of my existence on many occasions. Mm, it's really hard to tell sometimes, especially yep. when you're trying to clear it into there. It's a very fine line between it rolling up onto the wall and nice and safe and smashing back right into the center where no one on your team can follow it up. Oh. That is not good. TK. He's uh, making a name for himself here in this first game. A great pass from Deluxe. Found Absolutely the man. Absolutely sniped him. And, uh, TK has been all reliable, fine in the middle of that net. I like how Sack Hot was blurred. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where are, they? Where are our chat settings at? Moderators, fix our chat. TK, off the ceiling. Resinal. I take it off the back wall. Capsize off the ceiling himself and right into the hands of Deluxe and Stick Trip. On the catch, good flick out of the corner. This capsize will send it right back. Sir Knight, TK in the way of that one. Resinal looking for it off the ceiling, found a, a baby pinch. Man. These are my friends. Well, you're talking about uh, Spooky SCN, I'm assuming. In which case, well, maybe he's talking about Yuzzers. They're doing great. Uh, and otherwise, uh, if, if you are a Yuzzers fan, then uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Unfortunate. Zernite wanted to take control, but just ended up popping it straight up. And that's kind of been... I don't know. Well, it's not been the story of this game, but it's definitely not the story that they want to write about this game. Because they just don't seem to be... And... Okay, well, almost the exact thing happened Ooh. from uh, the last goal. They don't seem to be able to get a good grip on any game. I've never seen them comfortable in a game so far. Uh, except for that first series. Oh yeah, there was that first series. Oh. And that's the strange thing. Uh, how? What a, what a difference. I, I already forgot that that was even the same team because they've just not looked that way since. Yeah, they seemed like underdogs in their last two matchups, which was uh, definitely a, a stark difference from their, their first game accomplishment, taking out a very strong team. Sully says everyone are his, are his friends. Well, that's good. That's nice. Aww. Does that include us or just the people playing? In which case, my answer depends everyone. on yours. I mean, everyone is a pretty all-inclusive word, I would think. Sir Knight. All right. Only a goal down now. Some good pressure. Bit of an awkward play there and a great bump on the back wall. This is how they seem to start clawing their way back into that last series before, unfortunately, falling 3-0. They started getting in the way of the defense a little bit, getting some bumps going. Maybe that's just the way that they need to play. It was quite effective for them, uh, at least for a little while, in their previous series against I Can't Believe He Did This. But uh, they wound up getting just a little bit too off their game. I just met y'all, so I like making new friends. Well, we like making new friends, too. Welcome to the community, man. Consider yourself an official friend of Bad Co. This is too wholesome. I'm leaving. I'm just kidding. I'm not leaving. Brian would probably not be very happy with me if I left right now. Mm, it would put me in a bit of an awkward spot. Zernite. Able to go avoid going down two there. Now off the sidewall, couldn't make the follow-up contact. Backline demo is going to open up midfield. And Zernite finally able to get back to it. Just about 10 seconds left on the clock here. Zernite around one. Ooh. Gets the Ooh. mid pass. And the oh. demo! Oh, man! What a play. That was so well executed to know, to hear the, the 10 seconds clock ticking down to know this is probably going to be your last opportunity if this gets cleared. Man. What a heads up Perfect play by execution. Stick Trip though, on that one. He could have either yeah. opted for the shot in a lower rank, he might have, but he saw what had to be done and uh, like a Sidewinder missile just in there, cleared that net right up. Zernite, long downfield, TK. Just going to play that one down to safety. And we will have our first OT of the night. I can't believe I'm saying that. Oh, is it really? Wow. All these games have been so uh, one-sided. We've only had uh, what, one game, I think, other than this, that was a one-goal game differential. Right. Other than that, everything's been all over the place. Ooh. Opportunity there, Zernite. Back to it on 44. 
Not quite enough on that flick. Deluxe, a good shot. And better save by Reznal on the goal line. Trying to preemptively play that 50 there. Zernite, gonna leave it there for stick drift. Couldn't find the flick out of it. It's capsized, no touch there. Midfield open though, a bit of a race. TK, it's around one. Gets the bump on the other, and <laughs> that's poetic justice. If Just I've ever way, seen it. Just the way that it came in favor of Yuzzers. It comes back to bite them in the butt. Good bump from TK, knowing exactly the right play there. I mean, Zernite does not really have a shot of saving that ball, to be honest. There's just not a whole lot they can do. For sure. What a beautiful game, though. Very, very cerebral gameplay on display here. It was more of a chess match than we've seen so far tonight. And uh, I gotta say, it was an absolute pleasure to watch. That's the kind of game that you love to cast. Yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say something that might be controversial here. But uh, oh? I liked how we didn't have an incredibly uh, large score differential that game. I actually thought it was kind of fun going to overtime. I think we should do it again. Yeah, I don't know if that's what controversial, bud. Oh, no? No, no, I think that's just what you want to see. Oh, okay. Well, um, I want to see us go to overtime again. Yeah, me too. Does that, that make you happy? <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm smiling okay, right great. now. <laughs> that's awesome. Me too. Well, Jess, thanks for the prime, man. The 12-month resub. At least you're up front and let people know you're bad company. Yep. Scuff company, bad company, decent company. We go by many names. We wear many different hats. Do we go by Decent Company? Only on April Fool's, right? Well, yeah. Well, it was Decent Company, and then I think it was, uh... Oh, it was Good Company first April yeah, Fool's, company and then, year. yeah, it was it was Decent Company this year. We're slowly getting worse as the April Fool's round around. Soon we'll just be Degenerate Company. <laughs> We're already Degenerate Company. TK! <laughs> Unable to get there on zero. Finally gets his way back to the corner boost. Deluxe. As far as the midfield line, Resinal tries to get back to it. TK gonna uh, almost got in front of it, and Zernite just plays it right around him. You can tell they want that game back. They feel like they deserve it after that late game equalizer. Here's Zernite takes his time instead of just banging a shot on net. He jukes out the first guy and gets past the second. Very well done. Good patience. That's what you like to see. Indeed. 4-11. And Yuzzer's out in front by one. Zernite off the back wall, gonna take his time on 50. Not much on that. You need a better bang to get it over the midfield line. Deluxe, cut off by Resnal. Now in pursuit to the blue corner. Around one, looks for the bump on the other, but Deluxe able to stand his ground. Another bump. Oh no, Resnal dodges very well. Now he's able to push back up the field. Resnal. Awkward position there for TK. Going to give Zernite an opportunity. Did not make the backboard read, and Resinal can't find the follow-up. Oh. How many times this this night have we seen Yuzzers get the ball just kind of floating across the goal line, but no one's able to follow up on it because of some unfortunate reason? Yeah, we're going to have to choose a new map soon. Crossbar on this one's dented. Hmm. If we ever get to a game three, I would actually <laughs> switch the map. But apparently, nobody wants to make close series this tournament. Resinal. Stick trip. Time to take it out of the stick corner. Stick with it. <laughs> stick. Ooh, bump on the goal line. <laughs> and a, just a little lofter finds its way in. The little lofters are sometimes the best thing you can do. And that was pretty good, because it won in the net. So, who are we to criticize? Great pass, great pass, great pass. Did someone great pass? I didn't, oh, no, it was just No, you. no, that's just me. You were being toxic. I'm being okay. quick toxic in voice. Hmm. Zernite. I'm able to continue that one full distance. All three orange players running back to goal along the same exact line where the ball is. That's, uh, this is something about how awkward they feel right now. But they're still tied, they're still in it. Good pass, Great good pass shot, there, yeah. almost. Good read by TK. On 40, brings it out of the corner, right there for Capsize. And Spooky SDN, they take their lead. This is what I was afraid of. You can only stay that awkward for so long before you get punished for it. 
And can we just say, can sorry, I don't want to cut you off, but I'm going to. Can uh, Yuzzer's really letting us down, missing the 2-2-2-2-2 two, 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 two in game two. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I, I hope you understand why that was a pressing No, matter. no, no, that's very important. That's way more important than the anal analyticalism. Yeah, right. I yeah, can't, that, uh, what did I say an earlier? Analytics? Analysis? Either one that you want to choose, you can just work it into a sentence, and uh, words which, are fun. Which may be my first language, but uh, that doesn't <laughs> mean you're good at it's it. It's not your first love. No. Deluxe. First love is... Oh, is the metric system? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's EK. How did you board. know? I just, I had a feeling. Stick trip on zero, not going to find the follow-up there. Ooh. I thought I was going back for that corner boost. Instead, Resonal trying for that early challenge. Deluxe, good shot on net, cleared by Stick Drift. TK, they're not out of the woods yet. Resonal. Lots of space, though. Gonna look for that good bump. Pass. Zernite. Oh. Good defense there by Deluxe. Kept his cool. Very good save. That's, that's a scary position to be in. Oh, Resonal couldn't read the two whiffs on defense. And it just floats across the net again. That's so sad. <laughs> Sir Knight, dropping that one into the hands of TK. Not enough boost to really get that one going. Stick drip. 73. Decent clear, but deluxe. Read it well. TK. On 54, it's over one. Clear downfield by deluxe. Weirdly enough, stick drip on the initial touch, but credit deluxe for the rest of the way. Take it off the sidewall. It's a good early touch. Resonal. Yeah, yes, the, the, the winners of the previous Sugar Bowl are only 20 seconds away from just completely falling. Not even in the grand finals. This is not what they were probably expecting from themselves. They really have to pick it up, pull out another last second play here. Yeah, not what I was right expecting now. either. But they're on the verge of going... Oh Double. for five. Ooh. Oh, they didn't get it. Cernite trying to change the narrative. Oh my god. These under 10 second goals. And if, if the games only lasted 10 seconds, the others would be undefeated. They really would. Except the problem is not who can score the most hype goal, it's who can score the most goals. And they weren't able to do that last game. So they're really going to hope that, you know, you, you just know that, oh, no. You just know that they're just tormented right now with the thought of that previous game where they came so close with such a good play and they lost anyways. Now they just have to shake that off because it's so easy to get in your own head about that. OT number two, you got your wish. I did? We I got to go to our one. wish, Anthony. Yes, comrade. Now hopefully we can get a game three just because, I don't know, I like fun. Yeah, if this game ends on a, on a on close... Uh, close crossbar, double touch. And we'll know this really was faded. A mm. faded conclusion to this match. Zernite with a little bit of space. Over one. Oh, TK in an awkward spot. It's Resonal. Not going to be able to get there on three boosts, that's for sure. You can see how much more reserved both teams are playing now in overtime. No, oh, this is literally an elimination moment for Yuzzers. They've done well to keep themselves in it. But they've certainly got their work here. It's Deluxe. Into the corner, a good pass into the mid. Zernite not ready for it. Instead, to take that one to the far side of the field. The Resonal. 50 goes off the ceiling. It's Deluxe. Sending that one to the orange corner. Zernite trying to bring it back. Throw him on a boost. Couldn't find the space above cap size. Deluxe. On the slow dribble, starting to get that momentum going. It's Resonal into the corner. Shot opportunity for Capsize, oh. and he gets there. Just a, a game hair now. off. Oh, man. This was very close on the save. Well-placed shot, though. I mean, so fast. That's just a tough one, man. That's just a tough series. That's a tough night for Yuzzers. Couldn't agree more. They still played very well, despite... Uh, Going 0 5 in their last two series. But, uh, 
Either way, yeah, best of three. Better team showed up. I mean, I wouldn't say better team, but they definitely showed up today. Well, I mean, it would be interesting to see them uh, play again, which hopefully we will be able to do next week. But uh, I don't know. I think Yuzzers might have been uh, the worst team. At least, obviously, they were tonight, but they they seem to, to lack the ability to pick themselves back up after they started losing. Uh, just kind of was a downward spiral from those winners' finals. Oh, that's somehow that's just how it rolls sometimes. I mean, you, I, if I'm Yuzzers, you just got to write that off. You got to winners' finals. You're still walking away with some cash tonight. You still got to feel at least somewhat good about your performance. Uh, and you just shake it off. You can come back next week. And uh, and uh, with a fresh mindset, and you know, do what you gotta do. Are you interested in playing some ranked three v three? Because I almost just queued us up for some. Oh no, no, no! I'm not. I'm not down for that. Are you sure? Yeah, oh, I would okay, just leave okay. that game. I'll take a, a 15 minute matchmaking ban. But nonetheless, we have our grand finals matchup all ready for you. I can't believe he did this. Taking on Spooky SZN. A rematch from our winner's round three, in which I can't believe he did this. Take Took the 2-0. Spooky SEN. You gotta be feeling that grudge match. But first, we are going to take a five-minute break here for our casters to grab some water and use the bathroom, and so on and so forth. Don't go anywhere. Promise. Uh, it's going to be a good series, despite uh, being the one seed and the 12 seed in the grand finals. Literally couldn't get any more <laughs> disparaging the seed-wise. But hey, that's how it rolls sometimes when we can't uh, individually verify every team. We do, uh, we do the best we can. Anyways, come watch some Rocket League with us in five minutes. I expect you to be there. If not, I'm telling mom. Who's mom in this situation? Uh, Steve. Oh, okay.
All right, we are back here at the Bad Coat Sugar Bowl number six, sponsored by League Trolley. Uh, very much appreciative to them for how much money they've poured into us over the last two months. So if you are appreciative that we are running these tournaments, uh, I want you to do uh, one of two things. Either go out and buy a bag of some League Trolley, you won't be disappointed, or... And here's the uh, here's the really appealing thing. So uh, join uh, join us here at the Bad Community Discord.gg slash Badco uh, for more tournaments like this. We would love you, your appreciation, or do both, or love your uh, love your participation. We would appreciate your participation. I think they got it. I think yeah, they got it. Yeah, it, it, I didn't rehearse this. I had a bag with me last week. I'm super sad that I don't this week because. They're really good. Um, and I shoved like half the bag in my mouth at the end of the stream because I thought that would be funny. <laughs> it was not It was not funny, but... That's just a waste was. of trolley, man. You got to savor each trolley. Yeah, I know, I know. They're, they're really not meant to be eaten like that. They're, meant to def they're definitely meant to be eaten one at a time. Steve! Steve Gifton 5, staying alive. Welcome to the bad community. Wavy, Black Elvis, The Nitrix, Cole Frankenpuff, and Tide BT Dubs. Appreciate it, appreciate it. What's going on, Captain Killjoy? Good to see you, buddy. Spamming your own face as always. That's what we like. Now, I have to ask, because I've never actually known and I've always been too afraid to ask. So what better time to ask than in front of 13 people? The sub badge, or whatever it is that shows up on stream when someone yep. subscribes. Mm -hmm. What is the bad character holding? Submarines. Submarines. Little toy Why? submarines. Well, he's got one sub for a new sub, and he's got two subs uh, for resubs. Yeah. I get it. There you go. I thought it was, like, nunchucks or something. No, he's or... a tiny little yellow submarine. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of... Well, no, it doesn't. That makes a little sense. I what guess. else should he be subbing? Or holding? Oh! You know what he should be holding? The next game, because they're, they're in the game already. They're, they're going. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. It's Middle East! How is it Middle East?! All right. Psionics. All right. What? Anthony, we got to have a talk. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to have a talk. I know I did not set this to Middle East. There is no way I set this to Middle East. First of all, no, there's no way I set this to Middle East. I, I, I refuse to believe it. Psionics knows you use metric. Yeah, there, there you go. That's what it is. What does that have to do with this? Uh, it's because you're not allowed to use uh, it's United States servers if you use the metric system. There you go. Unbelievable. Uh, what I can't believe is that uh, our teams in grand finals did not know to wait for the friggin' stream. What the heck? Yeah, it's pretty sad. Can That's you, uh, really sad. All right. Uh, yes, I'm going to, for the second time, I will now leave a lobby that you have told me to leave because I, something was wrong about it. It's not my fault. Mm -hmm. now, it's not your fault. You're just possibly, the guy in control of everything. What could have possibly happened? I don't understand. You know what I should do? I should do a <laughs> replay so I can see what the heck caused this. That is unbelievable. That's happened twice tonight. I didn't change. Why would I change it to Japan servers? Why would I change it to Middle East? Servers? I don't know. You tell me, man. I didn't do it. I I I claim. Wait, why, how did I just get thrown back in this crappy Middle Eastern server where there's, there's already a score? It, all right, all right, okay, all right. <sighs> Thank you, Psionics. This is clearly Psionics' fault, and that has nothing to do with my own abilities. It shows you as in game for me right now. <laughs> I am in game. It's it's up. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. It's up. Are you joshing me right now? I'm not joshing you, dude. Was uh, there anyone else in that match when you joined? I am going to try to join party match. It was one to zero, and the score was like there was like four minutes on the clock. Yeah, I can tell you for sure. It's definitely not uh, not one to zero right now. All right, stream. In this, in this lobby. All right, stream. You want to verify something for me? Is it currently one to zero with three minutes and fifteen seconds on the clock still going right, down? So with here's me what we're gonna is do. the only person in the lobby because I think it is. I think right, it just well, might be. That's that's uh, that's an interesting Rocket League thing. So we're gonna do the thing where we add. Uh, 
Hold on. I'm just gonna DM our players really quickly. Holy crap, I think it's a new server. Let's go. Oh, shush. Let's just double check. USC? It's good stuff. It's it's east. It's east. <laughs> we got there. Forrest swore at me. He sweared at me in the DMs. I'm so sad. Who's the other team? I need, to, I need to just make sure I've got them. How have I forgotten the team that literally just beat? Spooky SCN, dude. Yeah. It's capsize. He's talking in the thread. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, I just realized. Did it not close the old server because it's the timer had started? Is that why? I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. Well, it shouldn't be, but I, maybe it is. I don't know. I was back in the lobby. I got thrown into a game involuntarily, and when I joined, it was still a, an active game. The last server we were in. Well, here we go. Whoa! Whoa. You playing the trumpet over there? I think it's safe. <laughs> that, that was our our karaoke machine in the living room going on. No, it's not safe. <laughs> They're coming for me. Oh my god, the trumpets. Forrest gonna pop that one high. Deluxe to it first. High off the back wall. Capsize looking for TK. It's wavy out of the orange corner. Far across the field, TK. Wavy. Take it off the sidewall on zero. Forest. Dragon thinking better of the pass. TK. Gonna play that one down into the box. A bit of miscommunication there between Forest and Dragon. They still wind up with possession out of it. Wavy. Dragon getting bumped off of that one, but Wavy, good for the follow. Ooh. Uh, nothing much going there from Forest. Dragon gonna be there for that one though. Bit of a mean 360 there from Forest. I don't know if you caught that one. I Interesting. saw it. I saw it. Dragon. Out of the corner, a touch from Wavy. Deluxe. Sends that one straight down the line. Forrest into the corner. Back out in front. Good opportunity. Deluxe puts it home. Nice shot. This is what Forrest gets for memeing. He sat back that whole time. I think he should have been somewhere midfield to catch that ball before it even came down to their side. I think Forrest is playing as of this point. It's hard to tell with him. He'll probably say he wasn't after the tournament. Of course, of course. Wavy on the scoop. He's got zero to follow that up. But still finds a pass and Forrest completes the play. Man, it is painful when you just immediately off the kickoff get punished like this. You have to work so hard for a goal and then doesn't even matter. Yep. I mean, kickoffs change everything. I've seen matches go for a full five minutes with nobody scoring. And then the second that you have that overtime kickoff, somebody will score in the first 10 seconds. It's just about finding your positions off of those kickoffs and making sure that you get into those rotations as early as possible. It's Deluxe. Trying to bring it down the sideline. It's over Wavy. No touch there off the sidewall. It's TK. Got to beat Dragon to it. Forrest, the long clear out to midfield. Wavy will keep that one going into the corner. Pass out into the box. Forrest, another meme 360. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. The gears are turning. Wavy. Oh, man. Oh, my <laughs> lord. Off the touch. touch. <laughs> what is this? I need to see this again. Oh my! That's a, that's I don't a, think that was on purpose, but new mechanic? Question mark. Uh, that's called the oops flick, I think. <laughs> yeah, the, the pre-flip oops flick. There are plats doing that every day, just by sheer. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not a hard mechanic. <laughs> sheer luck. 
Wavy. Look for Forest. TK. Wavy and back Forest sure do double up a lot, don't they? They sure do. Both very aggressive players. And Dragon. Let's throw his name <laughs> into the mix. I think that was Wavy just taking over Dragon's ball. No. I don't really know what's happening. Maybe. But they're still up, so... Yeah, they haven't lost possession off of this. In fact, they still continue to get a challenge on most of these balls. It's Wavy. Sends it off the back wall. Forrest gets it back downfield. Looks for it again. Out of the corner. That one's going to waterfall. Dragon. Shot cleared by Deluxe. Is there anything more frustrating than knowing the other team is memeing on you and not being able to come back or beat them? Ooh. TK. I don't think so. Almost with the cuxer there. Nearly. Just a very frustrating feeling. Yeah. Knowing that the other team is not putting in there all disrespecting you, and it doesn't even matter because you still can't They're still beating you. quite secure that goal. Although Ooh. they are getting close. Certainly had a lot of possession here. But I can't believe definitely made most of their the most of their counterattacks. But they have to be careful because they definitely can get overconfident as we have almost seen happen a lot of times so far this game. Well, it's a bit of the same problem that Yuzers was facing is, is the fact that they're getting shots on net, but by the time they come, the defense is already set. They haven't really been able to to catch the defense off guard yet. And, it's uh, tough. Yeah, I mean, that's that's going to come mainly out of counterattacks. And by spacing, you gotta you gotta get that infield passing going and really get uh, force the the cars into what they do the worst, which is lateral movement. Spacing's a little bit off, like you were saying. Oh, you know, that's Just another too open net. Follow up Forrest even... saving a shot. Not even yeah, gonna wind up taking the easy ones here. Yeah, will and they get this punished for be it? A goal. And oh. yet again. A good opportunity laid to waste. His capsize is going to get that demo, going to leave that there for Deluxe. Gets a good flick out of it, just under 20 seconds left to go in this game one. That's so painful. That was the chance they needed that. They can maybe generate one more right here if TK can get this, but he can't. And that's going to be it probably, yep. That it Man. will. They had the chance. They had, they had it all laid out right in front of the net. They just couldn't get it in. Man, that hurts. That is a painful way to lose. Very interested to see if they can, uh, they can get this one back. I saw you on the stream just now adding that pip. Yeah, one game advantage to the uh, winner's you, bracket uh, team. But I'm not, yeah, that was not in, sneaky. That was not a result of this game. In fact, <laughs> they just go up two pips now. You thought you could get away with it, but that I saw uh, yeah. everything. My keyboard shortcuts, they never go unnoticed. Mm. Nonetheless, another strong showing from I Can't Believe. We're now two games away from taking home the full pot. Spooky season just outshot, what was that? What did I just see? 13 to 7, I think? <laughs> but they still lost. That's just crazy. I mean, there's a, there's just a big problem there for for Spooky Season. Just not putting the shots in. They it's certainly like got their the opportunities, man. They had all the opportunity yeah. in the world. And that's what happens when the other team is memeing on you. I mean, there's definitely there's going to be opportunities for you to take. They just got to take them better. Forrest takes his opportunities when he gets them. Yeah, was that a little musty I, I detected? A little bit of a musty flick. It was kind indeed. Kind of a tame musty flick, but still uh, still enough to get over Deluxe. Yeah, it's, a, it's more of a musty touch than a musty flick, but still pretty play. And I can't believe already out ahead, showing that they can score pretty much whenever they want to at the moment. But do they want to enough? I don't know. I haven't seen them play very seriously. Doesn't seem to be mattering so far. But if Spooky Season can just get a little bit better footing, they can just figure out their touches and their team play a little bit better, it's going to start mattering. They're going to have to start trying. 
Agreed. And I just hope it's not too late for them. Fair shot by Deluxe. TK keeps the pressure going. That one high off the ceiling. Deluxe couldn't find another touch. She's on zero. Capsize. Bit of an awkward pass. TK trying to make the most of it. Able to get back. Couldn't find the follow-up. Deluxe. Oof. Made it just hard enough for Forrest to get that clear. Sent it wide. And there it is. Tied game again. Forrest pre-jumping or something? I guess he expected a harder shot. But he's what of saving himself in the chat, so he knows he's messed up there. <laughs> Not feeling too great about that one. TK really into the corner. Dragon. No touch from Forrest. Now looks to get it to Wavy. Deluxe is going to cut off that pass. Forrest will keep it going. Beautiful shot from Dragon, and it just bounces in. What do you do if you're spooky season right now? You have to fight so hard to get into the game. And then I can't believe just they just shoot the ball from somewhere that no human should ever shoot the ball from. <laughs> and it just goes in. Two teammates up committed for the same shot off of the ceiling, off of the ridiculous pass from Forrest. And they still managed to make it happen. It, it honestly blows my mind. It, like, that positionally, that's a nightmare. Is Capsize going to tie things back up? But how long was it going to last? I mean, good play. Fair play to Spooky Season, getting this one in front. Good pass from Deluxe. But I'm interested to see if they can hold on to this tie game uh, for more than 30 seconds, because so far they've not been able to do that. under 330. Forrest on zero. That one goes far wide. No touch there from Dragon. Forrest still unable to really get any boost here. Wavy did a great job of keeping pressure on that ball and not allowing Spooky Season to really start a counterattack. They're still trapped in their own half here though. A oh, good well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly, it's gone. Almost exactly, almost exactly 30 seconds that was. Oh, it was 40 seconds. Okay, well, still. They could not even hold on to a tie game for one minute. I mean, just, those were just great reactions by Wavy. You might want to call that one oh. lucky, but, I mean, he played that one. I don't think he got the first touch he was looking for, but he still managed to play that, that second touch exactly perfectly. He didn't rush oh. it. Just Deluxe, a little bit off on that double. Yeah, don't don't mistake me uh, saying what, I, what I'm saying to mean that uh, Spooky Season is, is playing terribly or that uh, I can't believe don't have to do anything to win this game. I can't believe it's certainly playing well, even if they're not playing at full capacity right now. Um, but I think there Ooh. are some improvements that I think Spooky Season are capable of making that could keep them closer in this game. Absolutely. Now's the time to do it, because if you lose this game, well, you've got a best of seven reverse sweep ahead of you, which is not looking likely at this point. Yeah, well, it's definitely a tall order as TK going to get just a lucky one there. The defense just, uh, they just left. Forrest and Wavy go to the corner. <laughs> They're both chasing Shopping each other for, for that boost, yeah. They were too busy playing the game of who can get the boost first and not Rocket League. And that is a mistake that they will probably make many more times tonight. <laughs> they can't do anything cool without boost, man. Boost is important. Exactly. Down the sideline. These SSLs. <laughs> just, yeah, these SSLs have awful boost management. I know, I know. I I'm say so that from my pedestal of, yeah, of GC1 or GC2. <laughs> Forest. Dragging us on that one down the sideline. It's back. Towards the goal from TK. Forrest on the double. Hits it around one. A great read by Wavy. Played the high angle. Spooky season have to work Whoop. so hard. Oh, and there's a good goal. Right as I was about to say it. Yeah, I was just going to say Forrest was in a bit of an awkward spot here. Did not have the best recovery there. And a little slow on the turn. TK going to make that one happen. 127 on the clock in spooky season. Their first lead of the series. Very interested to see if they can hold on to this right now. I was just going to say before that goal went in.
Spooky season have to they seem to have to work so hard to hold on to possession. They have to work together so well to hold on to possession. Whereas uh, I can't believe they just get one touch and it just somehow completely falls past everyone on the other team. Whoa. They have to be able to control the ball. Whoa. Or Very just risky put people... situation. Yeah, that was that was a traffic jam if I've ever seen one. Yeah, somehow it didn't look too threatening at any point. I was never really expecting a goal to come through there. Oh, well, there's yeah, there's still a awkward. whole field of cars to go through between the ball and the the ball and the goal. This dragon looks dead center. Forest looking wide. Open. Capsize just puts it on target. Spooky what? season. They'll take a two yeah. goal lead entering the last 30 minutes or 30 seconds even. Forest recovery again, not good enough. He could have landed and saved that, I think. Pretty pretty sure. But he just kind of took the scenic route back to that ball. And now the game is probably chalked. Forest is rank B. We are well aware. Is Forest only rank B? Well, I mean, he's B, B plus. I think Forest should be B plus at least. He was. I think that's the highest he's been. Oh, really? But yeah, he's he's a community he's veteran. Anyone. Nice save on the goal line by Dragon. Deluxe. How could it be enough for him? Good response from Spooky Season. Yep. I mean, it, not much changed, honestly, from I can't believe side of the of things here. But you know, Spooky Season capitalized on those stupid things. Every time Forrest was doing some weird spin back in his, his half, or he got some not-so-good clear. I'm zeroing out on Forrest because he swore at me in Discord DMs, by the way. That's why I'm zeroing out <laughs> on that. Uh, they actually punished that game. They had those opportunities in that first game, but this game, they actually punished him for it. And uh, that's just what they have to keep doing. It, they can totally win this series if they just keep punishing dumb mistakes as long as I can't believe it doesn't get wise and start playing seriously. Agreed. And I mean, at this point, if you're not playing seriously, then I guess you just don't like money. I guess not. Ooh, off the bat again. Forrest trying to beat his record of scoring early last game. Not going to beat six seconds, but 13 is not too shabby. Good 50 from Dragon. Well, dunk, I should say. Just nothing that Spooky Season can do about that one when it goes up on the backboard like that. TK. Commit, though. Got another opportunity to try for the dunk. It was a good opportunity, or good good play. I, uh, I swear I know other words than opportunity. Uh, as Capsize capitalizes at the far post. Well done. <laughs> Way to get 50 past two and then just that final pop. It's hard to read because they can just take it down the sidewall and doomsy dish it in or they can pop it out and you made the right choice that time. All tied up and they uh, fairly eventful first 30 seconds. Glad because this is looking to be a much closer series now, which is really what we were hoping for. Spooky I'd season like to with see a, game seven. a bit more confidence under their belt. Taking that game one, it's definitely got a factor into their mindset here in game two. You have made them bleed. They are vulnerable. Dragon, wide pass to Wavy it was a good opportunity. And Wavy just slotting that one a little high. Flip reset from Dragon off the back wall. But that 50 went a little bit more left. Could have been a goal for Spooky Season. That's really frustrating. Oh, there's just double commits galore, by the way, but it's still almost a goal. Good save by Deluxe. The pressure still on from Forrest. TK down the sideline. Dragon can gather the boost. Couldn't make a touch. Shot. Deluxe looking for capsize again. No contact on the ball. It's capsize. Trying to bring it downfield. Forrest. Touch to no one in particular. That's TK. Going to be the first one to it. Gets a good 50 out of it. Six boost to his name. Going to try to get there with the wave dash. But not quite enough. Wavy. Soft touch to himself. Trying to complete the play on the dribble. 
TK gonna come in on that back line. Capsize. Ooh, it's the demo's see... coming out left and right now. Yeah. It's good to see that physical play. It's also good to see, uh, I think it was Deluxe, when they, when they fly past the ball. And then instead of just going, well, okay, I guess this play is over. I'm going back to my net. They continue flying to uh, look for a bump on the person who's challenging Ooh. next. Ooh. And it almost resulted in a really good possession for Spooky mm. Season. Clangs but off the inside they're... of the post. Once again, hend in on their, their little side. Just uh, scared, afraid of what's about to happen to them. <laughs> All right. We've got a whole narrative to go with this possession. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start writing out my my Rocket League stories on Wattpad. <laughs> yeah, just figured uh, we needed a new script writer. As Wavy. Wavy caresses the ball into the net. Ooh. Quickly. He, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. All right, yeah. Never doing that again. Dude, this is... That was a Someone surprise was to me. Guys, I didn't know he was going to do that. I apologize ahead of time. Maybe, just you, you should write the scripts in advance next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. at least I know what's coming. Need to get a green lit before I say it on stream. <laughs> Deluxe on the dribble. That one's going to the far post. TK getting bumped on his approach. Deluxe right there for it. See if he can complete the play. A good block by Wavy. TK, dragging on the back wall. Bit Russia of a... has changed hands so many times this game. Yep. It's, uh, it's been so back and forth. Very even on shots right now. TK, off the back wall, Dragon gets a touch on it. It's Forrest on the dribble. Goes wide, awkward ball for capsize, makes the most of it. Good wide pass by Wavy, Dragon not ready. TK, still trying for that Cuxer. Got a lot of power on it. Return fire from Forrest. Lots of open space so far as well. Everyone's trying to play smarter. They're taking a little bit more time, spacing out a little bit more. You can tell that they were memeing a little bit at the start, but I think it's pretty clear now that I can't believe he's really Ooh. trying, and they are still struggling uh -huh. to hold on to this lead because Spooky Season has really upped their game so far this series. Dragon couldn't make the dribble happen. Wavy able to get the challenge. Can he convert? <laughs> Went for the flip reset into the wave dash there. It was the right idea. A very difficult maneuver to pull off. TK out of the corner. Capsize looking for a mid pass, but instead it's back to TK, last man back. Forrest bumped off of it. Wavy, able to avoid the contact. Capsize yeah, on one. Now. Yeah, they have, uh, they have not been able to really get any pressure off of this as Forrest, his shot is off the crossbar. Wavy, <gasps> able to keep it going. They have an opportunity for the counter attack here. He TK, the, boost. the pass was a little bit behind him. They couldn't really get the forward movement downfield. Are they memeing again? Keeping uh, the ball up? I mean, it is that a rule one. Like it. Dragon. It's a, it's a rule. And that will come to a close. I can't believe they narrowly escaped game four with the dub and are now one game away from taking the whole tournament. I can't believe that Spooky Season come back in reverse sweep this right now. Oh, wait. It can't be a reverse sweep. Never mind. Dang it. Yep, no I was reverse gonna, sweeps left. Gonna do a whole, gonna do a whole thing there. But spooky season. Well, they do have to win three straight, which is still a hell of an ask. Yeah, I, I don't believe in that. That's something I don't believe in. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna make a whole joke about the reverse sweep. It's coming, but now that the joke is clearly dead, I, I'm just gonna be honest. It's chalked. It's over. This game, it's going to be wow. 3 or 4 0 oh for I can't believe. They're going to be freestyling on them. And then Forrest is going to say something in quick chat. Wow. That's my prediction. I thought you weren't writing the script yet. Uh, no, this isn't the script. This is just. This is, this is a genuine prediction. This is just a prognostication. Yeah, I know what that means. <laughs> 
It's like a like an oracle prognosticates. Oh, that is very interesting. <laughs> I'm that... assuming you're talking about what I said and not uh, no no not this no no ridiculous just... counterattack that we got in the first 15 seconds. Ridiculous is is a good word for it. Uh, but usually when people say ridiculous, they mean wow, that was a ridiculous play, very very well done. But uh, no, that was that was a uh, goofy. I think might even be a good adjective for yeah, it. Yeah, goofy, yeah, ludicrous a little bit. Unbelievable, but for the wrong reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I'm incredulous about it. I think it's clear, or it's been made clear at least, that I can't believe is the better team in this matchup. But Spooky Season are clearly also not slouches. And it's worth repeating, like, we've been saying this whole time. Ooh! You can't count them out. You can't start memeing around because they're going to win if you do that. What are they? What is happening on the defense here? I mean, excellent shot from Deluxe. How do you even save that? Yeah, All right, spooky season. They're looking like a different team this game. I cast a curse. There, uh, there you go. Believe. They heard you, man. Deluxe I clearly did. on the cuxer. That in? Ooh, it was on target, but that one is. 3-0 the wrong way. I, was, I had it exactly wrong. What a pinch. What a finish. Man, they just got a fire lit under him. Last all they need to do day. is not right. hemorrhage three goals in four minutes and ten seconds. But isn't that so much harder than it sounds? Oh, is it ever? Taking that big lead early is uh, it's a blessing and a curse. Unless you can keep it going. It's deluxe. Good placement. I don't know. Uh, they seem to be keeping it going. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, you go up early and then you still give the other team the entire rest of the game to find their bearings and start clawing their way back. But, I mean, if they never let up, then that's just uh, that's not a viable scenario. 24-0 and game. <laughs> Would be a bad company record. Uh, There's another one. Woo! There's another one. <laughs> Heads up play. Dropped it underneath them. I think they just found somebody else to play. These don't Trap look size. like the same players. I mean, I do think I think they do look like the same players. Just the same players finding some sort of confidence that they they didn't have before. Well, and that on-ball decision making, they're getting more clever about how they approach the net, and yeah, that's that's exactly what they need to do. Is their regular just shots on net were obviously getting saved. Those backline rotations, too good for them. I can't believe. Right now, they're getting a little cheeky with it. They're starting to come into their confidence a little bit more. And it's paying to, dividends. I'm interested to see the response here from I Can't Believe because you know that they're not just going to be happy leaving this game the way that it is right now. I mean, it's probably over at this point, but they're not going to be happy leaving at 5-0. So whatever well, shift in momentum occurs here is going to be very important for the next few games. You take all these games one game at a time. The only way to make this kind of uphill battle happen, can't focus on trying to win three games at once. Players Dragon. certainly shouldn't be doing that, but nope. I can. No, nope. it's hard not to though, man. It's that the, uh, yeah. it's the, the, the carrying wood analogy is what I like to, what do I like to use? Carrying wood? Yes. Explain for me in the stream, please. Uh, it, it happens when you, uh, okay, imagine in your head a wood pile. And you have to take the whole wood pile and move it to another location. When you're looking at the whole wood pile, it seems like a daunting task. But each individual piece of wood, as long as you do it, you know, steadily and readily, it's not it's not a very difficult task. It's just repetitious. Well, it's a good analogy, except that. Wavy and Forest and Dragon are actually all pretty good. And so it's not an easy task <laughs> to beat them. It is also repetitious because they have to do it three times. But it's a, it's not an easy task to do. It's not as simple as picking up something and carrying it to another place. Okay, I'm just going to ask you to zoom out on your perspective here and take this outside of Rocket League and envision just the wood pile. The wood okay, pile is okay. the analogy. Just the wood pile. It doesn't wood need pile. to be an easy task. I mean, you still got to carry wood at the end of the day. 
but well, how heavy is this wood? What kind of wood are we talking about? Really ever, ever handled a cord of wood? Ever chopped wood in your life? Yeah, I have. Well, but there's different kinds of wood, and they have different densities, and therefore different. Weights. Oh my God! Okay, an oak tree, Anthony. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. And how how big are the boards cut? Uh, they're two by fours. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's not hard. Yeah. What if you have a stack yeah. of two by fours? It seems okay, well, daunting. How big is the stack? The whole point, Anthony, is you take one piece of wood at a time, and before you know it. That's like you the song the whole the Santa stack. Claus movie. Uh, oh yeah. He's just one, one foot, foot in front, in front of, of the other. other. We're gonna get the MCA. Soon. Oh, wait, isn't that changing soon? Uh, I don't I heard know. something about that. No idea. I'm just, you know, no, erring on the side of caution. Yeah. You know what's not changing soon? The score? This 5-1 lead. Yeah, which well, Which is actually a 6-1 six six lead. I, I just... Okay, in my head that made sense, but now I realize it doesn't. <laughs> the point is that they still have the lead, and it's a pretty big lead. Oh, Forrest is something in quick chat. I was, I was right. Oh, in a way, it is. there it, it is. Half right. How many GGs do you think we can expect to see out of Forrest after the end of this game? <laughs> none. Mm. Either none or fifty. Yeah, I was erring on the side no of fifty. In between. That's the Brazil. What what is happening this game? These games um, were close, I, right? These games were close, and sometimes the game just gets away from one team. I know we've been singing Christmas special songs for part of this game, but like it doesn't look like I can't believe is just thrown in the towel. It doesn't look like they've they've just given up. I'm telling you, man, they've uh, uh, Spooky Season found some sort of form. They found some sort of confidence, and definitely it helps the the memeing going on. From I can't believe, which has. Continued well, I haven't really game. seen them meme very much this game. You have the thing. No, not a ton. Well, at the at the very start. I, I mean, think there's it, there's a happened. little bit, but they're already down. You know, six goals. Oh well, yeah. At the very start of this game, there was a little bit of it, or at least maybe not memeing, but just some uh, some ridiculous over aggression. Remember that first counter attack goal, um, that goofy counter attack goal. They, uh, I think they just let it tumble. Uh, out of their own control after that. Oh, no happened. Brazil. No Brazil. Honor. And now it's the most important part of the game where we find out how many GGs Forrest will say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here we go. Let's see who's right and who's wrong. We got what a save. No saves GGs, instead. just what a save. Just what a save. All right. Well, neither was predicted that. Didn't well, they? you know what? Wavy and capsize just went up a, a little bit of my social, my internal social credit. Hmm. Wavy, good job. Wavy's a good guy. Wavy is a good guy. We like Wavy. We we don't like Forrest. No, Forrest we like is not Forrest a good guy. too. <laughs> Forrest can be no, a headache. He swore at me in Discord DMs. Yeah, okay, never you're allowed go. not to like Forrest if you don't want. Do you think I forgive people? No. When people wrong me, I write them down on a list and I never forget it. <laughs> oh my life. god, this is sounding a little, uh... uh <laughs> what, insane? Uh, you know, the birth of a supervillain kind of stuff. But it's all I good. I wish I could be a supervillain. <laughs> I want to blow up Mars or something. Alright, well we are into game six. Two games should, remain. Should be an interesting one. I think uh, I can say, without getting in too much trouble, that I'm definitely rooting for Spooky Season in this game, simply because I'd like to see a Game 7. Yeah. I think that would be great. Me too. But there's going to definitely be quite a response from I Can't Believe. Because Ooh. they're not happy with that last game. Narrowly off on that wide pass is Capsize. Around one defender, Deluxe, looking for him again. And Wavy there to cut off the play. Could be a shot. Ooh, and a the goal. Backline demo. Because of the demo. App, excellent demo by Deluxe. That's just exactly what I was saying before. They don't give up on the play after they're done on the ball. He just immediately turns from the ball and looks, okay, what's the next thing I need to accomplish? And the next thing he needs to accomplish there is taking out the back line. Right. Made one decision. On to the next one. And spooky season. Up 1-0. And that might be the difference that we're seeing right now. 
from earlier in this series. There is just no downtime for Spooky Season. They are just go, go, go. There's no, uh, there's no pauses to think. There's no, hmm, what's the right decision here? And there's no, well, I'm just going back to net, so, you know, my job is accomplished for now. They are just, they're on it, man. Deluxe. Not gonna get there, it's TK around one. Dragon. No one there for the pass, TK. Let's that one back out to midfield. Forest on one, gets bumped off of it. it. Delayed the play enough for Wavy to get there. Gets demoed for his efforts, but still. Look at the space for Capsize. Yep, and it cut off quickly. TK had no option but to play that one down into Forest. 50, gonna benefit, I can't believe. Now Forrest will try to take this one out of the orange corner. A good pass out into the mid TK. Soft on net. Dragon will get that one away. Man. Just they just look so lost. I can't believe they don't really seem to know what they're doing all of a sudden. I mean before they they just touched the ball or they missed the ball. And it just turned to gold at the start of the series. No matter what they did. Whew. Now now it's now it's it's not turning to gold, oh, it's turning to something very different. Oh my it's god. Turning to it's crossbar. finally there. Jeez. <laughs> this one was coming for a long time, I think. Ugh. And yeah. Well, it's good for them that they got a goal. I mean, man. <laughs> How many chances did they need to finally put it in? That's not what you would expect to see from these guys. Yeah, a little bit off of that crossbar there is wavy. Finishes that one. That's a bit more what you'd expect to see. Whiff from Deluxe, unfortunate. Cast is not able to get the read. This kickoff swing is in momentum we were talking about earlier. Yep. Reincorporating that one. And we are just approaching the last half of this game. Because I can't believe maintaining a one goal lead for the moment. Demo coming out from Wavy on the TK. And Dragon getting a nice dunk there. Gonna get that mid boost. And quick to the follow up. Deluxe. Touch to himself. Can't find the room under Forest. It's Dragon on the approach. And shot on net by Wavy. Just barely manages to get past the close post. Heating up too far. TK. Not quite in the right spot for that shot. Deluxe says, What in chat? Maybe there was some sort of uh, ghost hit or something there from TK, but he definitely wasn't in the right place, regardless. Yeah, it didn't show up on the replay, so I gotta imagine that's inter interp on uh, Deluxe's side of things. It is not a server side thing. TK Only couldn't find the banger off the back wall. Capsize will chase that one into the corner. Long boom out to midfield. Gets it right back. It's a good shot on net from Forrest on that back wall. Way too, way too hard to get around. I can't believe stepping up a lot in this game. They are just not letting Spooky Season do the things they were doing last game. And it's it's getting pretty desperate here. A minute and 30 left. This could be a shot. Ooh, the soft one. Too soft. Oh. That was a good opportunity. I was not sure you're going to find a better pass in this series. And approaching the last minute of gameplay, they got to find something soon. Wavy, creative uh, oh. car work there. Great recovery. Finds Dragon on the outlet. And uh, now the difference is three. Looking a little bit out of reach for Spooky Season. They really have done a great job of crawling their way back into the series, but it's not looking like it's going to be enough at this point. Wavy says just faster, and, and there go his uh, credibility points you were talking about earlier. Yeah, that's that he got definitely GG. down five points on the, the social scale. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if these players have any sort of beef outside of this tournament, but... No, to be honest, I mean, that's, I that's in good guys. keeping with with bad company standards. That's true. That's, that's a good ribbing. Just faster is fine. Name-calling is not. Speaking of good, though... Still gonna say it's like... B tier on the on the smack talk scale. 
B tier. Yeah. You think just faster is B tier? Yeah, B tier. That's that's right. overused. It's just kind of boring. I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's overused and it's not not that unique. B tier. Yeah, I would put it lower than B tier though. Mm. I'll put it like C probably. I put it lower than B tier, or I put it at B tier because it's still not toxic. Mm. If we're talking about what belongs in the lowest tiers of of the smack talk uh, okay. tier list. We're not talking about the wholesome Smack Talk tier list, in which case it would probably be pretty low. That Just the the overall aggregate Smack mm. Talk tier list. Capside. See, you've given up on casting this game because it is very over. Oh yeah, yeah, no. If something happened, I'd cast it. But that uh, is GG's gonna do thrown it. In before the goal. GGs the are game. out. I can't believe they just won the tournament. Ooh, hey. Boo! Four pips to their name. Ignore everything Anthony says from this point boo. forward. Congratulations to I can't believe he just did that spooky season. A, uh, a brilliant display there. Took two games off of the champs, and they will walk home with $90 for second place. Uh, and those are, those are well-deserved $90. Congratulations to all of our teams in our top eight for taking it home at least some money tonight. And what they already joined. They already joined the stream lobby. Boy, I'm going <laughs> to They know what's up. All right, here we go. Can we get an interview, they say. Oh, boy, can you guys get an and interview. And you hey, get an there interview. We go. Or you know what? I'm going to stay silent while you guys roast Anthony for the next 15 minutes. Oh, I oh shoot. My brownies are burning. Anthony. Oh, I, I hate go, him. Man. This motherfucker I put it on him. Middle East I and Japanese. The, I and smell then the had the brownies in the oven. To they're, say that they're, I got they're, the information they're burning. And let, me, let me be the I'm making them for my... Yo, let me Fuck be the you, Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So you know when, like, in uh, Winner's Finals, when you said we were joining with the wrong info in that forest with, like, gum? I was pissed. The, the info. I don't on, remember this. I remember that. Info, I definitely on, remember that. The info on Badco is like not the in-game info. We checked. Oh yeah, yeah no. no, we cleared uh, that I, up. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't remember this personally. <laughs> no, 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 stick. Don't say we. Just say sweeper. No, Anthony has very selective memory on, yeah. on this I particular think, event. Oh my gosh, you guys are targeting me right now. I can't <laughs> believe that, this. That, that. That's what. This yeah. is a plot by the government. Targeted bullying. I think. I think. Amazing. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm I gonna stop like talking. To say, uh, forest is trolling. Like he's actually, Yeah, forest is selling. Yeah. Potentially throwing. I don't want. Not coming. I mean, I do want money, but I don't want it easy I'm not, way. I'm not, I don't want it the easy lying. way. We, oh. We, we were okay. not coming until the final game. <laughs> Just, I just gotta say, Wavy brought his own team in here and won one of these. You had to get Wavy to win one of these. Hmm. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it's, it's just, low. it's just no, way easier. Oh, I'm just it's talking. It's just uh, way easier. <laughs> I mean, they have to get the rank A players in here. I mean, oh, uh, you know what? Uh, there it is. The clout. <laughs> you know what? You guys uh, are just trying to make me hate him. <laughs> no, the Forrest is probably the best player here when he's actually trying, but he doesn't try, so I'm the best player. I want to see top wait, 10 wait, wait, trails between the Wait, 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 all right, Wavy, you're bringing your own team next time. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna cast no. you in Forest in the Grand no. Finals. What? No, you're just Forest trying to put band? us against each other for more views. <laughs> Shut up. For more views. Yeah, our 12 viewers are really riveted right now. Bro, they're all so tilted that there was no close Grand Finals. Yeah. Except for the game where we lost one to two. Okay. <laughs> four two is not the worst. They I mean, scored four in the first minute. We just completely stopped trying for the rest of the game. You guys came in with a one game advantage. So four two, you know, you won three games to their two. That's still a relatively close game or grand finals uh, in my I eyes. Mean, like, yeah, it could, it, it could have been four zero, but uh, four. Uh, yeah, four is just doesn't want to win. <laughs> I, I was, actually, I actually was, do believe that. Actually, Amaranth was on on my. Uh, <laughs> kick him. Kick. You were legit watching it the entire time. I was, was watching so Amaranth ASMR right now. Sorry. Oh my god. My bad. The entire time you were doing that too.
I'm just gonna donate my money to Amaranth. That's actually, I have a bad feeling he's actually gonna. Ooh, do yikes! That. Yeah, so do I. I don't. Uh, how about you just give the prodding to me, kid? I'll do no. a yeah. No. All right, it's no. all getting split between <laughs> Wavy and Dragon. Thanks for letting oh. us know for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah, yeah. awesome. I'll take, my, yeah. I'll take my ninety. I'll take yeah. my ninety. Now this is gamer oppression. <laughs> Shut up, wow. Silence. And Silence. that's all we have for tonight, folks. Thanks for <laughs> <laughs> No, but really, it was, it was a good series. It was fun to watch. Uh, Forrest, yeah, fun. congratulations back to the top pedestal, buddy. I was always here. No, you never I mean, left. Never won. Except for those tournaments that you didn't win. Well, the thing is, I just couldn't play in them. I had more busy, you know... Uh, important things to go to, you know, like RLCS, you yeah. know. Cap, yeah. Cap, didn't even sign up for RLCS. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only Sugar Bowl you played in, is it? I think it N is. No, it is. Hmm. Hmm. Don't check your logic. For, yeah, I think, one think I might have to do the research on that one. I'm sure played I think I played in like one other one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was, I one, think or, I was one or it two. It was with Crozo. Co I mean, to, to be fair, if I'm playing with Crozo... Like, do you really think I'm trying to win? Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm clipping this. Wow. Yeah, Crozo. Damn. Crozo's getting he the heads care. up about that one. He doesn't care. It's still, he might not show that he cares, Forrest, but underneath, he's crying. He's crying. Yeah. He's, he... <laughs> Good. Yeah. Wow. Good. Wow. Good. This guy's he an needs... L friend. All right. This isn't worst company, Forrest. Thank you. <laughs> Go off and make your own offshoot of Bad Company. I will. Yeah. Oh, wait, right, right. right across Sorry. the street from Bad Company. I'm eating chicken soup. Sorry. Mm. Oh, that sounds so good right now. Sounds all right. You know what I got waiting for me after the stream? Pizza. What? I got trolley? wings. Oh. oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a trolley worms. Oh, well, I mean, trolley's dessert. I'm not going to eat trolley for dinner. You say well, trolley? Yeah. Yeah, like the trolleys. Just, the you know what? Sponsored by our benevolent Whatever. sponsors are. It's trolley. What? It's trolley. What? It's it's trolley. What? You're trolling. If you think no, it's it, no, they literally say in the commercials too. It's trolley. Okay, no link way. me this commercial. I will. Nah. You know. Okay, you know what? You might be right. Hmm. You know, stick. Hmm. Just like you didn't play in any Sugar Bowls before now. Hmm. Hold on. Okay. They say trolley. They say trolley in the start. Hmm. Link. Link. It's like trolley. Trolley. I actually have the gummy worms. Good. Everyone should. Yeah. Everyone who doesn't should be executed. Be with me go on, I, I probably actually can't say that. That's probably not. Uh. Yeah. No live executions here at Bad Cup. Good, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, good tournament, guys. I'm not, not going to keep anybody else hostage here with this, uh, this report. Hostage? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, we have nine people left on the stream. I, I didn't th I didn't know that I was hostage here. Uh, you want your money? Mom has been yeah. planted. Oh, well, then you gotta be here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Well, yeah, we're going to wrap up on our end of things. Congratulations. Hit me up with, uh, with your... Your PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo? I have a new one. I have a new one, Stick. Oh, my. That's good. I have my very own. It's not your dad's anymore. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a big moment for me. Hell, yeah. First bad co payment to the new account. Let's break it in, boy. Yes. Yes, sir. Right. So you'll see us. Actually, I won't be able to do Sugar Bowl next week. But you'll see Wavy here, probably. Probably. I hope so. Me and Wavy, I love third. No. <laughs> I'm about not allowed all right you hear heard wow. it here first folks you guys can uh you know barrage them with teammate requests you have my yeah, official endorsement <laughs> <laughs> i know they do hence the joke but anyway congratulations again <laughs> uh fill out the post tournament for, uh, oh, request prize for, yeah for for trolley uh it is it is right on the bracket and Where is right it? right there Right. It's at the bottom if you click show full description. Yeah, it says to claim a prize, you must fill out this Google form and follow the instructions in the description. I was where is, filling where out is that? Questions or concerns? Mm, nope. Format, nope. registration. It's above the bad co stuff. That's for the the league trolley portion. Uh, and this is all for the bad co uh, portion. Yeah. I found it. Let's go. Let's kind of peek. <laughs> 
Oh, this is this is too much. This is oh. just too much. I'll take it if you don't want it. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. No, yeah. no, I'm not saying. What that. is all this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Well, we'll be uh, we'll be back in touch soon. Here again next week for another Sugar Bowl. We got Blind Draw coming out tomorrow, and uh, much much more to come. Bless you, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mute my end of things. If you guys have any last shout outs or comments you want to make, do them uh, now. Shout out, shout out to our uh, RLCS team, Crows Shiny Wings. You're you're gonna see us in the regionals. Oh um, my God, I feel so bad. Cap. I feel bad that Crow Shiny Wings have to play with you. No, he's not playing with us. He's just our team name. <laughs> That's toxic, dude. It isn't. Hey, what's today's date? 15th. It's the 15th. Thank you. What's the tournament name? Are you uh, serious? All okay. right. Well, I'm going to let you figure that one out off stream. And yeah, fun. I'm going to close the stream down. So, uh, yeah, after a team name. <laughs> I'll be back in touch shortly. The... What's my social security number again? I think it let, ended with a two. Yeah. Chill, 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 chill. Just, uh, <laughs> just go ahead and let that one roll on, on stream. Eight people oh. will will claim to be you. I don't think they want to be me. Mm. That's a very good point. That's amazing. I have yeah. zero dollars to my name. I have finished the form. I'm actually speedrunning that. Wait, what? When did I send six dollars Australian to someone? <laughs> Bro, we have to put our team name in this? No way. Good question. All right. Face it. Congratulations. Oh, true. Smart. Talk to you soon. Yep. Yeah, okay, whatever. You're hosting. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I've never heard okay. three people so depressed about winning. What? Uh, okay. Welcome. We are Welcome. extremely happy. All right. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you brought this upon you this dude was like making very exquisite noises the entire fucking <laughs> tournament and Excuse i hate it wow He's oh swearing. i'm so sorry no i wasn't. was i not supposed to do that <laughs> you were definitely not. not really i'm not very really. sorry uh, i am very sorry wait what okay good okay bye so. okay bye huh <sighs> Well, that will do it for another production here at Bad Co. In the Sugar Bowl number six. Just want to give a quick thanks to everybody who stuck around till the end, chatted in chat, gifted subs, subbed yourselves. Thanks for the prime, for the, the couple of people that did tonight. Any follows? If you're interested in getting in on more of what we have to offer here at Bad Co., we run tournaments every weekend. Come and join us at our Discord, discord.gg slash badco. We'd love to have you. Uh, just uh, another quick thanks to League Trolley for sponsoring us and making all of this possible with support from uh, from viewers like you. Sound like PBS. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully, if we have a if we have a stream lined up for that. If not, then we'll see you next Friday. But uh, yeah, appreciate it, fam. One last step, and you're good to go. All right, see you next time.